Hello, friends. We have discovered a new thing, which is, of course, what I hope you are looking at. <laughs> yep. Cool. Um, so this is the guide that I was, I keep referring back to, um, literally tells me everything I need to know about the skill points, et cetera, et cetera. This other page is actually from the back part of the guide. Um, and it doesn't quite fit on the screen properly. Let's see if I can fix that. Uh, hit width. That's a little better. Um, and this has all of the items in the game, like all of the armor, etc., etc. So, yeah. So this is how I've been like, hey, what skill points do I need, etc. Boop, boop. And with that, oh my, okay. So now you have a, a kind of an idea of what I've been looking at on the sides. But that's not what we're here for. We're here for the game. So, once again, uh, I did some leveling while you all were gone. Um, and that's mostly to prevent the need to level up before the next couple of major story things. So. When we left on Wednesday, we were level 25, and then I spent about five hours grinding in Trodan Castle for liquid, liquid metal slimes, which you did all get to see me kill one, so you know, they give 10,000 experience a pop, which is great, um, and I'm hoping that by the time we get to what I would call the true midpoint of the game... Uh, we'll be like level 33, 34, and then we should shortly after that have access to the best place to grind for levels. Um, and maybe I'll show you how that one works because that one's a little bit more complicated <laughs> than the other places. Um, but yeah, so this is just to future proof us essentially. So here we go. Last time we were here, we were at Princess Minnie's castle. And then I teleported over here to save. So this is where I came back to for saving purposes. But essentially, now we have full unfettered access to the world um, everything that's accessible by boat in any case so we're gonna go back to Princess Minnie's castle cuz then the boats already on the water which is nice ba Bam! oh I still have my spear equipped because <laughs> the spear is the better item for leveling. Does Angus have his axe? Yes. Okay, okay, good. Um, while I was leveling, I also did some alchemy, mostly for cheeses, but I also uh, created this bow for Angelo, which you can see is actually currently not an improvement for him, but it will be later. We're just going to hang on to it for now. All right. So the globe is now open to us. Um, and one of the things that we're going to be doing is we're going to hit up the two islands that are like center and top. Um, and then we're going to go over to the northernmost point of the southern western continent. That was probably more complicated than I needed it to be, but here we go. We're going this way. 
essentially. I, you know what? Just follow me. I know where I'm going. Let's see. What did, what did we finish up? I think it's cheese. It is cheese. Yeah. Yet another side effect of all that leveling is we got a lot of red mold. So much red mold. But that just means we're going to make a lot of super spicy cheese. Because, one, we need it. F it's integral to a very important item later. Um, not that much later. Soon. Uh, and, two, because it sells for, like, 250 gold a pop, which is nice. Might even sell for higher than that, now that I'm thinking about it. Okay, that is a super weird effect that's happening on those cliffs that they're like see-through until you get close enough to them all right so oops, there we go uh you can see we're like in the middle right now and we need to go all the way to the top and all the way to the bottom from here so i'm actually gonna go south first Right over here. That's so weird that you can see through the cliffs. Oh my goodness. Um, and I kind of skipped the boat explanation, but basically, if there are high cliffs, we can't land there. And you can already see these enemies are more dangerous than the previous enemies we were fighting. And that's because the game doesn't want you to go north and south at this point. Like, it's trying to funnel us straight across. But there's no reason why we can't go other places, essentially. Cheating. Bringing your dead comrades back to life. That's cheating. You mean I couldn't see through the cliffs on PS2? No, you could not see through the cliffs on PS2. <laughs> so, like, there's a big continent. You can see that big continent right there. Um, it is fully surrounded by cliffs. We can't land there even if we wanted to. Which, at this point, we don't really want to. Oh, also, Jessica got a new spell. It's nice. Alright, am I to the set? No, not yet. Nearly. Nearly. Here we go. 
I mean, actually, theoretically, I can land anywhere here. I just wanted to land where you can see the statue. Which, of course, I've gone too far now. But it's fine. I wish I could say that all of that grinding had given us a lot of gold, but it did not. So this island here actually is one of the best places to grind for gold in the game. Um, because there's an enemy here and I'm hoping that we're going to encounter it that is literally made of gold and drops 500 gold every time you kill it. So we're not mad about that. I like that all of the dances are, like, literally the same dance, and we just call them different things. <laughs> the underpants dance is the same thing as the fuddle dance is the same thing as the... Oh, hey! So, that is actually the infamous monster version of the monster I was literally just talking about. It's a gold golem. And again, hopefully we will encounter one. How did we get all the way up here? And how do I get back down? Because I need to be down there. Oh, Lord. Oh, goodness. Great. Oh, gosh. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, who's got the lowest agility? Damn, Kangas. Although Hero's agility is also kind of crap. We're going to give that to Hero. Prove his agility a little bit. And then I guess we're walking the long way around because I sailed too fast. There they are, gold golems. Now, they hit like a truck. But... It's worth it because they dropped so much money. Yeah, see? Hits like a truck. There we go. Bam. And 1,500 gold coins. Yeah, not mad about that at all. Oh, yes, Angelo also got a new spell for healing. It is this lovely multi-heal, which heals everybody for at least 100 health points. It's also an important spell. Um, and the hero learned Zing, which is also a good spell to have. So now we have two people that can theoretically raise the others back to life should they happen to die. Which again, the goal is not to die, but it's it's an RPG, so you know, shit happens. Okay. Man, I landed on this island really badly, you guys. I'm real sorry. You would think that gold golems would melt in the desert sun, but they do not. In fact, they only come out during the daytime. Um, they do not appear on this island at night. But it doesn't matter, because they give us money. Ooh, maybe they give 750 coins a piece? I'm not sure. We do not want to fight that big one yet, though. We're not we're not interested in him. We're just going to go around him. And hopefully he ignores us. Don't follow me, bro. 
Okay, but this is where we were trying. Oh. Nope, not yet. <laughs> okay, this is the pathway I was trying to land us on. Uh, and I missed horribly, but that's because we are going here. Um, and you can see there's this giant statue of a lady. So we're going to go check out this town. So officially, this is the Holy Isle of Neos. People come here to the Holy Isle of Neos to pray before the great state of the goddess. I think that's supposed to say statue, but they left off a U. There's a cat! Oh, that one purrs. That's nice. Get your souvenirs here, ladies and gentlemen! Neos fudge, Neos rock, I've got everything here! How about a Neos pennant for ya? For people of the face, the Holy Isle of Neos is the most important place in the world. I mix the word faith and place at the same time. Every priest worth his salt has made a pilgrimage here at some point in his life. Right. So this is clear. This is part of the same religious thing that exists everywhere in this world. Um, Maella Abbey, the abbot. This is the religion that... So, now that we've ascertained what the heck this place is, it's time to bust out our license to smash. I guess that was all that we could smash here. Ah, uh, we'll stay at the end bef right before we leave. That way it's still daytime when we leave, because I don't know how long we're going to be smashing stuff. A lot of stuff to smash. This dude's having a very intense conversation with his horse. I've been all over the world on my horse and sampled the very best that each continent has to offer. But nothing could prepare me for the majesty of the great statue of the goddess here in Neos. I would never have believed that anything so grand and beautiful could be crafted by the hand of man. Amazing! Ooh. Hello, ma'am. Pardon me. Gonna smash your pots. Barrels. Alright, holy water. Now we're gonna smash the pots. Nice. Climb the stairs. There we go. The origins of the Holy Isle of Neos go all the way back to the era of mythology, when this island was just another nameless rock in the sea. After the godbird Imperia saved the world, a lone monk visited here. When he saw the image of the goddess so clearly defined in the rock face, he proclaimed Neos to be a holy land. No one knows whether it looked like this from the beginning, or if the statue was shaped by the hand of a master sculptor, as some say. By the way, this is sacred territory now. Wouldn't you agree, my friend? A tome entitled The Origins of the Goddess Statue. The origins of the goddess statue on the Holy Isle of Neos can be traced back to the days of the legendary Seven Sages. But was it really possible to carve such an elaborate statue using ancient technology? Or was its creation a miracle? Did the divine and all-powerful goddess herself transform the mountain into a statue? Alas, we'll probably never know. The smiling goddess statue remains silent on the matter to this day. Let me feel your sack. Ooh, scholar specs. Board's a pretty nice view of it. I don't know about you, but that statue looks to me like it's made of a completely different material to the surrounding stuff. 
Which makes me think that it was carved by some other means. I don't know. Picturesque as shit, though. Okay. Yep, see, it's turning nighttime now. Oh, there's an old lady here. Let's see what she's got to say. Oh, dear me. More bird poo on my clean washing. Dear Imperia, can't you have a word with the pigeons? They need a good telling off. All right. I mean, I would also be pretty upset about bird shit on my clean laundry. It's, uh, that's not what you want. I don't want that. Hate to see it. Okay. We have pellet. Oh, there's a dog. Woof, woof, woof. So let's see what we can see up here. Hey, those guys look familiar. What are you doing here? This place is off limits to anyone not of the faith. How do you know I'm not of the faith? High Priest Rollo, Abbot Marcello. This is the Holy Isle of Neos, the coronation place of the Lord High Priest. You may be captain of the Templars, but a man of such humble origins as yourself has no place here. Understood, Marcello. Your continued office as guard is in itself a privilege beyond your station. No doubt you're aware that it was only because I requested it of the Lord High Priest that you hold such a rank. As his likely successor, he grants me the occasional special favor. Well, I already hate him. Yes, I am aware of that, High Priest Rollo. And you could never have attained such an esteemed position as abbot at your age without my recommendation. You do well to remember that. Please allow me to deliver a token of my gratitude and devotion to your residence later, High Priest. Only the other day, a traveling merchant donated a truly magnificent jewel to us at the Abbey. You always did have a soft spot for material wealth, didn't you? But listen to me, Marcello. The Lord High Priest is a scrupulous man of utmost integrity. He won't be won over with such earthly trinkets. But I'll forgive your error this once, my child. Bring the jewel to me and we shall say no more about it. Let that be the end of this matter, then. Come now, let's return. Well, well. This is a rare encounter. Surely someone of so little faith as you wouldn't trouble himself to make the pilgrimage. Come to ask for the Holy One's help? Or perhaps it's just sightseeing, hmm? What a carefree existence you enjoy. But... Suit yourself. I'm a busy man. I don't have time to concern myself with you. If you'll excuse me, everyone. Enjoy your little holiday, by all means. But I trust you won't forget the other matter of bringing Dual Magus to justice. Haven't forgotten. Also didn't forget what a dick you are. Man, we hate that guy. But that's a little bit of insight into the way this world works. It's set up a little bit like uh, our world's religious political thing where there's top guy in charge, only theirs is called the Lord High Priest, and then there's high priests below them and abbots below them, etc., etc. 
right. Look, there's a cat. Uh. All right. I don't think there's anything to pillage in here, but we got to check. We got to check. It's a, it's a requirement. Okay. There are two things. Three things. Ooh. We like free money. Dang it. I already felt my sacks. It's the nice things about the barrel and the jars is that they disappear afterwards so you can't accidentally rummage through them again. Okay, that looks like that was everything in here. This is just the bat yet. Good news. We found the horses. This horse is asleep on its feet. I don't think I was aware that horses could do that, but I suppose it makes sense in a way. So yeah, there's a lot of political machinations happening in the background. This dog's name is Pumpkin. Ow! Cute. I like you. Okay. Alright. Then I think that there's like a little hut over here we can go into. Yes. I haven't been in here yet. Okay, but there's nothing in here. That's weird. I heard that Abbot Francisco of Mayella Abbey was murdered. What a terrible business, especially for one who carried the blood of the great sages. I don't like to say it, but I'm afraid it's the start of something even more terrible. I've got a feeling. Oh, dear goddess, please protect your helpless children. Okay. Cool. Is this just a rock or is this a building I can go into? I think it's just a rock and all the shops. Oh, nope. It is a building I can go into. Aha! Let me smash. Lame. unlock those chests at Port Prospect. I can't remember. Well, we might have to pop back and do that. Okay. I think that was everything here on Neos. Um, with the exception of the shops, but they are all closed because it is nighttime. I feel like this guard tower doesn't have anything in it, but you know, we gotta check. We have we have our license to smash. We gotta find out for sure. Yep, just a dude. And a set of stairs. What's up the stairs? Wow, this is there's a lot of stairs here. Okay. Okay, as expected, not really worth the walk. But it does afford us another absolutely breathtaking view. Yeah, she pretty. Okay. When you're rewarded with a view like that, it's hard to be mad about the walk. Also because I didn't have to walk in real life. What was that, like four flights of stairs? Gosh, I hope there's room at the end. Two hundred gold coins. That is out freaking rageous. No, thank you. Changed my mind. Not staying here. That is a racket. I will. You know what? I will teleport 
away. <laughs> I'm gonna find some place cheaper to stay. 200 coins. Man. Organized religion, am I right? <laughs> you can sleep on the floor for 200 gold coins. See, 12. That's, that's reasonable. Thanks, bruh. He's got my back, this dude. 200 gold coins. Outrageous. Outrageous. All right. But now we can teleport right back to Neos. Um, to check out what they've got for sale, which I'm pretty sure will also be ridiculously expensive. All right, show me what you got. I mean, that's all normal. Okay, gold rosary. I don't, I don't need another one of those. Nice to know I can get one here if I need it though. All right, we like the, ch the look of that chain whip. Ooh, we like the look of that sword. No, don't care about that side. You know what? We're gonna get Jessica that way. Bet you anything she can't carry it right now, so we're just gonna put it in the bag. Oop. I was right. All right, so that gave Jessica an upgrade, which is always nice to have. I love to see it. Let's see about armor. What you got for armor? Holy crap, is that an upgrade? Like, oh my hot holy damn. Wow, good idea, bad idea. I don't know, man. That's 15 full defense points. Well, that's 19. That's not as many. But the light shield is actually part of another alchemy recipe that if you put the light shield with some milk, it turns into a white shield. You can't make this shit up, folks. Ooh. Ooh. The full plate armor is the only thing I'm really tempted by. But I think I'm going to hold off for now. We're going to hold off on buying that because we still have another island to go to. And it's, I feel like I should also point out, if I haven't already, that this location is not designed to be one you intentionally go to. So that's not super high level stuff but it's higher level than what we're used to seeing um yeah it's like it's not the next level and it's not the level after that it's somewhere between the next level and the level beyond that it's like in the it's like level 1.5 from from where we're at so, like, yes, it's an upgrade, but there will be better upgrades coming our way soon. So I don't want to go too crazy spending all of our money. Because, like, 12,000 gold looks like a lot right now, but there's items in the game later on that are, like, 17,000 apiece. And then you need, like, five of them. <laughs> Ooh, I'll take the free strong medicine, thanks. Get all these horses. And here's the other question, too, is we couldn't get to Neos because all of the sailings were canceled. So how did Marcello and that high priest guy get here? That's what I want to know. 
How did you get here, bruh? And what are you doing here? The next time we can give Jessica a good defensive upgrade, we're definitely going to do that. Private plane membership at Costco. You know, honestly, it, I would totally believe that the religious organization in this game has its own uh, navy of sorts because they have their they have the Templars, which is basically a private militia. So like not crazy to think that they might also have their own navy. Sorry, brain was buffering. Ooh, we definitely really like that. We should probably go ahead and heal Jessica just in case I I think so. Yep. Just keep on keeping on. You can just see uh, Trodane at the top right there. That, like, angry cloud of black. Yeah. It's Trodane. So we're actually going to that island straight ahead. didn't need to use axes of evil. It was just in a regular attack. It's okay. Axes of evil doesn't cost any magic. And it hits a whole group of enemies at once, which is nice. Oh yeah, no, the monster names get... They're real quote-unquote clever. Usually they're just punny. Alright, so I just want to say that, that floating island thing from uh, Avatar, Dragon Quest VIII did it first. Talk to a bird. There's a bird here, like a little blue one that gives you some kind of seed when you talk to it. No, stay awake. No! Oof. Okay. No, wake up. Gosh dang it. Time to break out the big guns. Now we got them all. And let's just go ahead and heal. Okay. Yeah, it's a 
It's not a short walk, but it's... Okay, is that... Does that bird look blue? That bird look blue. Talk to me, bird. Yes! Seed of magic. Oh, yeah. That bird came straight for me, too. It's like it knew. It's like, hey, we're friends. I have a seed. I don't know if swoosh does anything to metal birds. We're gonna learn, I guess. Hey, it did something. That's good. Dodged? How rude. I like that the bird followed at us for a while. That's cute. I remembered having to hunt those birds down before, but that one was just like, hey, it's chat. Do you have a seed too? No. Guess not. Okay, well. That's fine. I guess. Whoa. <laughs> There's a lot of those dudes. <laughs> Uh, definitely time to bust out some spells, I think. Just because there's so many of them, and this is another one of those areas that, like, this is higher level than we are, and also anything with a bell or, like, a, like it's, it's just a hand can call something even stronger to assist it, so we're just not going to take that chance. We're just going to murder them all. <laughs> Die, bitches! Right. This is another um, religious site, clearly, because you can see that symbol um, on the top of the cathedral. You can, yeah, that, like, pronged fork thing is the symbol of the goddess. I don't know what they call their religion, but that's, that's what that is. So. As I recall... Step right up, step right up. Get souvenir coins, pennants, and postcards here. Yep, it's another place for, um... Hello, pilgrims. Would you like a biscuit shaped like the cathedral? No, thank you. It's another spot for the pilgrimage, which means... Tourist crap. And... Nuns praying their way up all of the stairs, which is fine. There's a cat! Meow. <laughs> can I can I open this with this dude sitting right here? You're not gonna say anything about me opening your treasure chest? Just like super chill about it. He's just like, yeah, whatever. Okay. Protagonist privilege, I guess. Alright, let's see here. What do we got? That steel side that we're not interested in. Well, that we are moderately interested in. Also moderately interested in. But that's like half our budget. That one that one sword is half the budget. That I think half the budget is too much of the budget. I think I just think it's too much. Too much. Alright. He's got nothing to say about the fact that we definitely just stole his his uh his stuff. Okay, see, this is why we didn't go full buying the full plate armor, because I thought we might encounter something better. And I was right. I was right to have pause. So ooh. We're gonna buy one of those for Jess. She needs it. And I'm pretty sure. 
We might have to look into this. We might have to look into this. We're gonna get that for the hero as well. Um, and the main reason I'm buying these two items is because I happen to know that they are useful um, in a couple of recipes. And in fact, let's actually, let's go look at that. I will embiggen that so you can see it better. So I can actually look up, boop, boop. Here's the silver, silver mail. And you can see down here it's used, oh, nope, too far down. There, now you can see it. So the silver mail is actually used in several recipes for dancer's mail, zombie mail, dragon mail, mail, and mirror armor. So buying that now, not not that big of a deal if we end up not using it for a long time. Um, let's see. And the magic vestment can be used to make the sage's robe, which you can see right down here, which is with the scholar's cap, which I don't know if we can make the scholar's cap yet. I don't think we can. But that's something else I can find out because we got bookmarks in this thing, baby. We got bookmarks aplenty. So let's see if I can find the scholar's cap. Scholar's cap. There's the scholar's cap. Y'all can see it. So the scholar's cap is a magical hat and scholar specs. And we did just pick up scholar specs, but I don't think we have a magical hat. So here's the magical hat. We'll be able to buy that once we get to Argonia, which we're not anywhere near at the moment, but we'll get there eventually. So there you go. That's a little preview of coming attractions. So should I buy the shield? We could afford the shield. No, I don't want to do that yet. I prefer to save a little bit of dollar of coin. So, let's give that to Jessica. And that'll also change her costume away from the dancer's costume. Can anyone else wear that? Nope, just him. I feel like the dancer's costume is part of the dancer's mail. Do, 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 do. I'm just looking it up real fast. Oh, except this is for ants. Oh my gosh, the print is so tiny. Yes. So once we get a better upgrade for Hero, or we could, we could just buy another silver mail and make the dancer's mail for Angelo right now. We could do that. That's an option we have. Because the dancer's mail is actually pretty freaking good. Like, wouldn't need to upgrade Angelo for a real long time. Oh, but it would be like all... Well, you know, we haven't sold anything yet. Let's see. What do I have that I can sell? Not the mini metal. That's not used in any recipes. I know that for sure. Oh, we never sold these. We can sell all three of those. Because those aren't used in recipes either. How much did the super spicy cheese sell for? That's the regular spice. The super spice. 600 gold! That's nice. You know, what's irritating about that is that this only takes two alchemy steps, and this one takes three, and this one sells for more. That's just... It's maddening, is what it is. It's maddening. Um, ugh. Gosh. I mean, in theory, we could sell so much of this stuff. 
but I just like, I never know. I never know. I don't think the thorn whip is used in any recipes, so I'm gonna sell that. And even if it is used in a recipe, all we gotta do is murder a whole bunch of dragon thorns and we'll get it back. Okay, that's good enough. Let's buy the silver mail. We're gonna put that in the bag. Does anybody, does anybody remember? When was the alchemy pot free? Yes. Awesome sauce. So now we're gonna put the silver mail in with the dancer's costume. A pow. And that's probably gonna take a while, but trust me when it's done, uh, Angelo's gonna be set for a while. All right, what else is here? What else can I smash? Can I smash anything in here? Doesn't really look smashable. This is much nicer than the Isle of Neos. Oh my gosh, so much nicer. Kitty! I know, we already talked to this kitty. I just, it's a kitty. I gotta talk to it. Okay. Finally, we're going up the stairs towards the cathedral. Big cathedral. Is there anything else? No. Nope. Just the cathedral itself. Which is a very, very large cathedral. Traveler told me that a castle somewhere in the east has been cursed with thorns and left in ruins. What phenomenal magic to destroy an entire castle! The person responsible must possess incredible power. No doubt it won't end with the castle. Evil has a habit of spreading. Still, at least His Holiness and everyone here at Savella Cathedral will be safe. Oh, now we have a name for this giant place. Savella Cathedral. And I don't know if y'all have ever been uh, to the Cathedral of Notre Dame in Paris, but this, to me, bears a relatively striking resemblance. <laughs> Not the front of it, but the interior. Like, these rose windows. Yeah, no, they're pretty. They're real pretty. Look, you can even see, like, shadow here on the ground. I mean, now it's still a jaw-dropping moment. The I have had the pleasure to see the rose window in person, and it is it is gorgeous. What? Well, how'd you beat us well, here? Well, who have we here? Haven't we met somewhere before? I see your memories got worse. How much older than me are you, brother? Ah, yes. The persistent rule breaker I had to expel from the Abbey. Angelo, wasn't it? Ah, enough fun. I do hope I didn't cause any offense. Anyway, no time for idle chit chat. I have to select men to form the Lord High Priest's personal guard. The luxury of a carefree existence such as yours is not something I can afford. So, if you'll excuse me. I mean, this is probably not the best place to stab Marcello, as much as we kind of want to. Be well, and may the goddess keep a close eye on you. Well, I guess we can't go up there. That's fine. It's indecent. How does a nobody like him get to become master of the Lord High Priest's guards? 
Such an important responsibility demands a person of repute, someone of character, like you or I. <laughs> no doubt that peasant bribed his holiness. I've heard rumors about him. It won't last. He'll never be anything more than a watchdog. He's enjoyed all the promotion he's going to get. This is as far as his money will take him. The burden of his lowly origins will soon bring him crashing back down to earth. <laughs> Shh. Okay, so, like with all politics, because Marcello is the bastard son of a nobleman, no one takes him seriously, no one thinks that he's cut out for the job, which, I mean, honestly, I agree with, but that's because he's a dick, not because he's a bastard. Wait. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of both, but the circumstances of his birth have nothing to do with his ability to do his duty to the church. So, you know, even in video games, people suck. All right, I think, I think that's everything here at Savella Cathedral for now, because the cathedral itself doesn't actually have anything inside it um, that we can smash. So let's check, did we go around this side yet? We didn't go all the way around. Okay, yeah. Nope, nothing here. So, to expedite, we're gonna go back to Princess Minnie's castle and um, sail to our next destination from there. Jessica's got her regular clothes back now, which honestly somehow are more revealing than the dancer's costume she was wearing before. But it's just because her dress is doing this like magical, like underbust thing that you can only get away with in cartoons. Because in, in reality, that shit would never hold. I don't know how it's staying perfectly just off her shoulders. Some kind of sticky tape magic. Okay, which direction am I facing? Not the direction I want to go in. I want to go this way. There we go. I also just, like, really love the stars in the sky. I don't know, I got a thing for, for stars. Lame. and beautiful and I love it. Oh, hello, sea dragon. Oh, he wasn't as tough as I thought he was going to be. So, with all these high cliffs here, we can't actually land anywhere here. So, like, even though you can totally see that there is, in fact, 
like a town on that like land bridge. We can't, we can't go there. And everyone's enveloped in illusions. Great. Oh, good, good work, Yangus. Uh. Nope, that won't that won't do a darn thing. You know what? Yes. Can't see him? Doesn't matter. Ooh, oh. What? Immune to boom? Doesn't matter, he's dead. Immune to boom! Can you believe that? What kind of bullshit? Okay. We're just gonna go ahead and heal everybody now. Just in case those. But yeah, you can see that there's like a town up there, but we can't get to it because there's no place to land. We just did this, bruh! Oh my gosh. Okay. Okay. Boom did not work. Let's try Frizzle. Okay, that worked. Yeah, get out of here, you sea dragon. There we go. There's a place I can land. Ha ha. Okay, so I actually awkwardly landed on the wrong side of the river, but I did it on purpose. Because there's a treasure chest over here somewhere, I think. Watch me be horribly wrong about the location of this treasure chest. It has happened before. It will happen again. Or not. I'm just really wrong. Okay, I'm just really wrong about where this treasure chest is. <laughs> I thought I knew. I did not know.
Oh, I think I just went the wrong way around the back side of this. I guess this way. Oh my gosh, y'all, I swear, it's like right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I swear, I swear there's a treasure chest here and it's got like a thousand coins in it or something. You can see it from the other side of the river. And that's why I was just like, I'm just gonna, ah, oh, there it is. Oh my God. See, I'm not crazy. I didn't imagine it. 800 coins, yay. Oh, dang it. There we go. <laughs> I just went the wrong way looking for it. Cause there is one on the other side of the other river, but that one's not that important. I don't care about that one. <laughs> I just want your money. Just give me your money. <laughs> All right. I still can't get over that boom-proof eel. Hot shit. Medicinal herb. We're okay with that. And now we have to get back onto the ship and go up again to get to this side to disembark. Hey, look. We found a church. And this is one of the churches that does have some things in it that we can loot, so we're gonna go ahead and loot it. Um, if you will recall back, 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 to like our second or third day of, of playing this, we encountered these two ladies at Port Prospect. Yes, at Port Prospect. And they tell you about your skills and yada yada. So like if you didn't have the lovely guide that I have, they could tell you how many skill points you needed to the next major skill point thing. However, I'm pretty sure I just heard the alchemy pot ding. Oh yeah. Yep, yep. Definitely not mad about that. Okay. Hmm. Well, we're gonna go back to making cheeses because the cheeses are so easy to make. And it doesn't require me to think super hard. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Climb this ladder. See what's there to see up here. A whole lot of nothing, but it does give you. Oh! I see a treasure chest. More mountains. There's the boat. 
Huh. What's that? I mean, I know what it is, but you guys don't know what it is. <laughs> Unless you've played Dragon Quest VIII before. <laughs> then you know what it is. <laughs> but another nice thing about finally um, unlocking this church is this place always lets you stay for free. Yep. You can always stay for free. But you can't make it nighttime here. So that's the caveat. If you need to make it nighttime, you have to stay at one of the places that you got to pay. But staying for free is a huge bonus. And now since we're here, we're going to go ahead and save. Just because we did all that stuff on Neo and Savella. And we finally made it across the ocean. So now we got to start our search for Dual Magus in earnest this time. Yes. Perfect. Okay. Oh, you know what we didn't do? We did not put that sweet ass armor on Angelo. Ready for this? Bam. 35 point upgrade. Yes, please. Also, it improves his evasion. So sometimes he'll just dodge stuff. I'll just be like, you thought you could hit me? Nah, brah. Nah. Forget about it. Yes, please, because we haven't done that in a while. So, something I haven't really addressed are these seats. Um, and basically, they increase your stats. Um, this is an important one because it increases your skill points. Um, but I'm going to save that because we don't need it yet and I don't know who's going to need it the most come later which is what I'm doing with the Seed of Life and the Seed of Magic as well um, these have a little bit of RNG because they can increase anywhere from 1 to 4 um, each one of these anywhere from 1 to 4 usually it's 2 sometimes you get 3 sometimes you get 4 and sometimes you get 1 um, and there is a little element of min maxing to using them like you can save your game, use a whole bunch, uh, and if you don't get the stats you want off of them, re just reload your game and try again. I don't find that to be necessary because I always intentionally over-level anyway, but if I were trying to do a run where I didn't grind at all, min-maxing these would be very, 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 very important. Now, the Seed of Skill always gives five skill points. It doesn't ever give more or less. It only gives five skill points. So you don't have to min-max that. You can use it whenever you want. I think that's everything that is relevant at this moment. Cool. So, Angelo is now super bamfy. We're going to go talk to this cow. Hey, cow. Oh! She ran right up to me. We're friends now. The cow knows. Word of mouth has spread. saw a treasure chest this way and we're just gonna go grab it because I like treasure and because I happen to know that that one also has coins in it and we need coins we're getting to the point now that we are gonna just always be needing coins so anytime we find something that's worth coins we go for it it 
Is it just me or does Cocketeer sound like a porn remake of the Three Musketeers? Is that just me? Just a thought. Would you see a porn remake of The Three Musketeers called The Three Cocketeers? I guess it depends on if it's the kind of porn you're into. There we go, 1,200 gold coins. You think it already exists? <laughs> I mean, it might. I can honestly say I haven't looked into it. Grin maliciously. Nope. Okay. There we go. Now he's dead. Oof. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Spitnik and Cocketeer. You wouldn't think they'd be the best of friends. Did, uh, did that answer any of your questions? <laughs> it only created more questions. All right, well, let's go get that cheese. Super spicy cheese. I don't know if that's a recipe. Not a recipe. Okay. I don't, I don't know why I thought, just for like a hot second, that that was a... There is a recipe with some kind of lance and a gold rosary, but I, clearly I don't remember what it is. So, am I out of regular cheese? No, I still have one regular cheese left. Sweet. Where's the road? There's the road. Back down to the road. And we gotta go talk to this sheep. I mean, we don't have to. He's just gonna buy at us, but. All right, hopefully this will answer more of your questions about spitniks and cocketeers. like a weird comet that orbits it and sometimes it swallows the comet and spits it at you and sometimes it flashes you. 
Yeah, no. The enemies in this game are weird. <laughs> I don't really have an explanation for it. But the enemies don't notice the party's presence. What I heard was murder them. I should mention that if you had gotten to this point of the game, having never played this game before, and not using a game guide, you should probably talk to every NPC you can encounter to figure out where you are supposed to go. Um, but as I recall, most of them don't say anything helpful, and you just kind of have to find your way here naturally after trying everything else um, which is how I know that going to Neos and Civella isn't necessarily a bad idea because that's where I ended up the first time because I didn't know where I was supposed to go they just said the western continent and I was like which of these is the western continent because <laughs> apparently I'm confused about the difference between islands and continents thanks Australia Right. And I don't know if we can avoid this dude. Because he's literally guarding the bridge. So we're just gonna... No! Okay. Nope. Can't avoid him. Raging Rooster. Here to attack our faces. Man, we could really use a boomerang upgrade, couldn't we? I think we're going to have access to one soon. Oh. This dude's got a lot of health. Holy crap. He's in love with Jessica. I guess Angelo's defending her honor now. All right, we'll take the copper monster coin. I sell for 200 gold, we're not mad about it. Well, in case that wasn't obvious enough, there's a casino here. <laughs> it's not like there's three giant signs that say casino. Oh, you know what's sad about the Metal Slime Knights? They don't give that much experience. <laughs> because the knights themselves are not metal, just the slimes that they are riding. So even though you murder them both, like, jointly, does nothing. Always target Jessica. Leave my girl alone. Might have to swap her position in the lineup with Angelo just because he's got more defense now. Maybe they stop targeting her. She's beautiful and they don't understand her, so they, they murder her first, I guess. That's my theory, and I'm sticking to it. But yeah, let's, um, yeah, let's swap her and Angelo in the lineup just because usually when enemies attack, they attack this way, like with the hardest hit starting here. But if they are using spells, the hardest hits are in the center. So like, yeah, we'll see if that helps at all. It might do nothing. And it might not matter because, hey, we made it to the next town.
Where are we, sir? I guess this is where I'm supposed to say, Welcome to Baccarat, home of the world's biggest casino! But the casino's closed right now and isn't going to reopen anytime soon. Oh well. Well. That is on brand for every casino in every video game ever. Always close the first time you get to it. <sighs> Which is fine, I guess. Look, a well. I don't remember, is there anything down here? Nope. That's what I get for playing doctor. Leave the well alone. Alright. Hey, look, a bookshelf. A book entitled The Magic of Cheese! Y'all, they've been reading my diary again. Making special cheeses requires the preparation of special ingredients. For example, try combining plain cheese with magic water for a special result. Namely, a cheese that contains the power of magic water! Isn't that special? New recipe, plain cheese plus magic water. Okay, except we've only found one magic water so far in this game, and I'm not wasting it on cheese. Mini metal, yes. I don't remember how many mini metals we needed for the next thing. Hey, what do you know? Cash and Carrie are adopted. They were wards of the church who Golding took in and raised as his own. As children, they used to get along like peas in a pod, but as they got older, things changed. Now they see each other as rivals. Personally, I think it's because they lost their parents once already, so they compete for Golding's attention. I don't know who any of those people are! Thanks for the useless information! Do you know stuff? No question about it, the casino shut down the day after Golding's mansion was burgled. The burglar may have picked the right house, but he sure picked the wrong man. Golding once took down a troll with his bare hands. So I guess that's Golding's house over there, the big one. Okay. Of all the rotten luck, I took a holiday to visit the casino only to find it shut down. Okay, what do you know? This is the takeout counter. We've got plenty of room inside. Best food in Baccarat. Go on and give us a try. Can I... Can I see a menu? Oh man, there's a lot of people in here. Do these people know anything about anything? Ooh! Pots. Barrels. I don't know why, but my brain keeps confusing the two of them. Barrel. That's a barrel. I know what a barrel looks like. I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to leave. A kitchen in full swing is like a battlefield. You're liable to get hurt. Me? Get hurt on a battlefield? Never. Watch me fuck up all these cocketeers. I always have a few with Golding after work, but he hasn't shown up in the pub for days now. Some are saying he got hurt during the robbery the other day. Now I wonder if it's true. They say Golding put up quite a fight with the burglar who broke into his mansion the other night. It seems he drove the scoundrel off, but he hasn't come out of his house and the casino's been closed ever since. Pickham's a filthy place, full of drifters and grifters. You couldn't pay me to go there. Okay, I wasn't gonna? Not super interested. This statue is supposed to be of some ancient sage. Golding wanted to knock it down when he built the casino and hotel. But all these workers kept getting injured. Everyone was deathly afraid of the thing. That's why it's still standing here, pristine and untouched. Neat. This is Mr. Golding's mansion. I'm afraid Mr. Golding isn't seeing visitors at the moment. Please come again some other time. Okay. So the casino is closed. The mansion was... Bur the, 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 
the casino owner's mansion was burgled and he hasn't come out since. Interesting enough. All right, what you got? Nope, nope, maybe. Just because she's got such sh shitty health. Got a bag. Let's, let's get one of these two. That in the bag. All right. Let's see here. Is the alchemy pot done? Yes. Sweet. We're going to make some white shield. Because I think I have enough milk for that. I do. Oh my god, I have so much milk, you guys. Jessica. There we go. Whoops. Ah, that's not the button I meant. It's fine. Okay. Ooh, look, barrels. I got it right that time. They're barrels. More barrels. Ooh. Good thing the cabinet inspector has arrived because this cabinet needs inspecting. Strength? Bookshelf? It's a book entitled Tips for Assassins. There are many kinds of weapons in the world, but it goes without saying that the most famous one in the assassin's armory is the assassin's dagger. They're quite easy to make by combining a sharp dagger with something poisonous. That is not helpful. Theoretically speaking, shouldn't all daggers be sharp? Like, by definition? There's no love lost between Golding's adopted son and daughter, let me tell you. When Golding passes away, mark my words, there's going to be one heck of a battle over the inheritance. Alright, your words are marked. Thank you, sir. Okay, I think that was all of the buildings except for the church and the casino. So let's let's go to the casino. Ah, locked. Well, guess we're not going to the casino. Uh, what's in here? Is this not the casino? Guess not. Guess not the casino. Ooh, cabinet inspection. Mini metal. It's a book entitled A Non-Gambler's Guide to Baccarat. When one hears Baccarat, one inevitably thinks of casinos. But don't be fooled, there's more to this charming little town than gambling. Those who know Baccarat know that the town's secret treasure is none other than the Golding Family Mansion. Golding is famed as a connoisseur of the fine and folk arts, and his spectacular collection is a must-see for any visitor to Baccarat. Once you've had your fill of the casino, take a breather at the Golding Mansion. So he owns and operates the casino, and then his house is just open for anyone? No wonder he got burgled. That doesn't seem like a smart play. Ooh, Ruby of Protection. Those are nice, too. We like those. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and give that to Angus. Bam. Okay. Let's head downstairs first. Thank you. 
Ever seen a bunny girl show? No? You don't know what you're missing. Drop by tonight. Our bunnies are nocturnal animals. <laughs> Alright, creepy old man. Cabinet inspection! Pot inspection! Yep, breakable as they should be. And we found a bunny tail. And we found a garter, which is good, because we used the other garter. Another mini metal. Let's check upstairs. Okay, so tell me what happened the other day. The suspense is killing me. All right, all right already. But you've got to keep this under your hat, okay? This is between you and me. Hmm, I swear I won't say a word. We barmen know when to keep our mouths shut. By the goddess, lower your voice. I assume you've heard about Mr. Golding's house being burgled. Well, the fact is, Mr. Golding was murdered during a robbery. Murdered? Oh, you mean Mr. Golding is dead? I told you to keep it down. That's why nobody's seen hiding a hair of him recently. He isn't among the living anymore. But Mr. Golding was such a big man. You're trying to tell me he was killed by a random burglar? Well, the really weird thing about it was that the burglar was apparently dressed as a jester. A jester, you say? I didn't see him myself, mind you, but that's what they say. A jester, huh? A strange one, this burglar. Seems he broke in, killed Mr. Golding, and left. He didn't take anything valuable. From the looks of it, he was after Mr. Golding's life, not his gold. I also heard that Cash and Carrie have ordered some men to find the jester and avenge their father's death. By the goddess, this is big. Oh, I won't tell a soul. You can count on me. I'd better get back to my customers. See you later. Gah! I'm sorry, I, I did not see you standing there. <gasps> did you... did you hear what we were talking about? Oh, forgive me for the strange question. A slip of the tongue. <laughs> I'd better get back to work. Mm-hmm. Well, okay then. Cabinet inspection! Hey look, free dancer's costume. Captain inspection! Oh, Is this a bathroom? <laughs> it is. I freaking knew it. Does anybody knows that these bathrooms all, like, have a bathtub, but still no toilet? Like, we have plumbing, but not for toilets. Hmm. Oh, guess there's nothing up here. We need to get into that mansion is what we need. Toilets haven't been invented yet. I mean, I... But... Isn't that the first thing you would invent if you had plumbing? Is a toilet. It just seems... It just seems like that would be the first thing you'd invent. Alright, 
What's down here? We haven't been over here yet. Anything I can smash? No. no. There's a little back house. Oh, smashings. Smashing. I guess. Nah, we're good on those things. I don't know. Another mini metal. Dulmagus? Where did you hear that name? Are you in league with him, scoundrels? No, I suppose you wouldn't be. Sorry. It's just that we're all on edge after the break getting at Golden's Mansion. Okay. Well, that's a name that they've clearly heard before, which means he's definitely been involved here, which means he's murdered someone else. Hmm? Why is the casino closed? Well, it's because Cash and Ca I mean, Golding. It's because Golding ordered it. And I'm sure he thought long and hard about it, too. I mean, obviously. But I need in there. I need to go that way. Come on. Come on. But I, let me in. Let me in. Okay, fine. We're going to go talk to that uppity bartender then. Everything we were talking about upstairs? What? Look, cut me some slack and don't tell anyone else, okay? If word gets around, I'll be in deep. <clears throat> Let me propose a deal. You keep your mouth shut, and I propose to tell you what I know. What do you say? I knew I could count on you. Let me fill you in on what I know. Cash and Carrie sent a posse after the man who killed their father. They want revenge. And I hear they headed straight for some island north of Baccarat. Word is, there are some ruins on the island. It'd make a perfect hideout. He turned British in the middle of that. Did anybody else notice? <laughs> hmm. We can't be absolutely sure it was Dulmagus who killed Golding, but I'm quite sure we can be sure enough to be sure. <laughs> cool, blimey! And then he's part of the background. Edric, why don't we go and have a look at those ruins on the island to the north? Maybe we'll be able to find some kind of clue. Alright. So I guess we have another destination. However, before we go there, we're going to do... like at this point y'all have hung out with me enough to know because it's not a well guarded secret that I like the kitties I like them and there is an entire house dedicated to cats just south of Baccarat 
so we're gonna go there. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I guess because they're they're called night emperors because they're in rulers of the night, which is maybe why they're called that. There actually is an enemy called a fat bat, and they are the same shape. They're just a different color palette. All right, let's take a minute to appreciate this. It's glorious. I love it. I want one. Meow. Could be here for a minute. Arr. I don't think that one liked me. <laughs> uh, sorry, just a bit of Qatar. How's it? Welcome to Chateau Felix, residence of the great Cybercat father, Master Felix. My name's Tom. I'm Master Felix's helper. Are you here to see him? <coughs> Excuse me? But Master Felix is a busy man. He hasn't got time to meet any old thing the cat dragged in. I'll have to ask you some questions. If you can prove you're a top cat, I'll let you in just now. Question number one. It's light. And it's raining cats and dogs. You're hurrying home. When you hear a little kitten meowing, it's right soaking wet. But everyone in your house really hates cats. So what do you do with the kitten? Uh -huh. We definitely take kittens home. We always take kittens home. If we can take kittens home, we take kittens home. Question number two. You're the king's servant. You go out hunting with the king, but you don't manage to find any prey. Then you find a tiger in a trap in the woods. The king is some way off and hasn't noticed the tiger yet. So, what do you do? We definitely free the tiger. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And question number three. You are an explorer. Along your travels, you're attacked by a great cyber cat. You manage to overpower the cat, but it looks at you as if it wants to become your friend and travel with you. So, what do you do? I mean, you literally described my whole dream right now, so. Uh -huh. And now, to let the cat out of the bag, let's see how you did. Perfect. You've proved that you're the cat's whiskers, a real hip cat. <coughs> you have permission to see Master Felix. You can go in. Yay. I really hope that that's, like, 
Oh yeah, that's way too big to be an actual saber cat's head. Hmm. I say, someone other than Tom for once. The old boy doesn't often let people in, you know. You call me at a rather busy time, I'm afraid. I'll be with you in a jiffy. Mm -hmm. There. I think I'll take a breather for a while. Sorry to keep you waiting. So, you're an explorer, eh? I'm Felix. Well, well, Tom's really got an eye for people. Only lets decent chaps through, you know. Yes, you might just be able to assist me. There's a little undertaking I need some help with. Allow me to explain. It's an old chum of mine, you see. Gone and got himself lost, would you believe? Normally, I'd go and help the old bean out myself, of course. But as you can see, I, I've got a lot on my plate just at the mo. That's where you come in. I'd like you to go and give the old bean a bit of assistance. If you don't mind, that is. Well, what do you say? Will you help? Capital! Right, I'll tell you what you need to do then. Around these parts, there are four great saber cat statues. You might have seen one of them on your way over here. They all point to the same place. There's a strange tree there that's only visible at dawn. And that's precisely where the old chap is, you see. All I need you to do is go there and give him this. He's a clever old bean. Just give him that and he'll know what to do. Once you've given it to him, come back and pay me a visit. I'll have a little token of appreciation for you. If you leave here and head up the hill, you'll get a view of a couple of the Saber Cat statues. It's worth taking a look before you go off exploring. Ah! Golly! I nearly forgot. I suppose you've never ridden a great Saber Cat before, eh? Well, this'll be a fine chance. Speak to Tom. He'll give you what you need. Give the old speed a bit of a boost, what? Tom will explain the rest. We're gonna ride a cat. We're gonna ride a cat. <coughs> Wasn't Master Felix inside? What? Master Felix asked you a favor? Oh, he must think you're the cat's pajamas if he gave you the go-ahead to ride on one of his great saber cats. Oh, great! I was right to let you in. I could tell you were a hip cat. Okay, so, are you ready to get on? That's it. No pain, no gain. Oh, yeah, looking smart, Brew. Okay, let me tell you the basics about riding a great saber cat. When you're riding one of these cats, you can go a lot quicker than you would on foot, but you can't go further. You can just go to all the same places faster. Some people get that wrong, so I wanted to explain. If you get off and accidentally lose your cat, come back and see me. I'll lend you a cat as many times as you like. That's it. You're ready to go. Good luck. Okay, so basically, the Great Saber Cat lets us go faster, but it doesn't give us access to anything that we couldn't already access by foot. Is the basic gist. A light shield plus two bottles of milk equals a white shield. Who knew? All right. Time to make more cheese. 
because we have so much mold. There's no reason not to. Yes, it is hardcore RPG logic. And I'm pretty sure everyone can equip the white shield, so let's figure out who should have it. Oh, nope, just Angelo and Jessica. Well, then it's Jessica's. Because our girl is easily murdered. <laughs> Venom wasps, eh? There's a great saber cat statue back there behind me. Um, but I already know where I'm going and hopefully I will be able to get there before dawn because what we are looking for only happens at dawn. Um, and if the sun gets too high, it disappears. So we have to get there. Um, at the right time. Uh, and if we don't get there at the right time, we have to sit around and wait for it to be the right time. Because trust me, I have tried teleporting and running back and it just it's just not worth the hassle because if we lose our cat, we have to go all the way back to Felix to get the cat back. I don't, I don't ain't nobody got time for that. literally just bodies them. Just like launches himself at them. Take them down. Okay, I wanna make sure I'm still going the right way. I am. Still going the right way. Look a cow! Nice. Thanks for the milk, bruh. Right. Oh, look, there's another one of the statues. Good news, we made it here before dawn. And now we wait. Literally, we just wait. Now we're just waiting. <laughs> I guess we could theoretically run around in circles while we're waiting, but there's really a whole need to do that because we are plenty leveled. Oh, hey, look at that! Tree just magically appeared. I am Balmrin. Came out here on an errand for my master Felix, but I seem to have lost my way. 
I know it's probably a strange thing to ask, but perhaps you know? Where is it I'm supposed to be going? Yeah, we're gonna give him the Sand of Serenity. you get that powder? What? Master Felix gave it to you? This is unbelievable. Um, of course. Now I finally understand. Uh, I thought it was a bit strange. I just kept going round and round and round in circles. You've been a great help. If you hadn't come, I might have been wandering around here forever. Would you mind opening that bottle and sprinkling the powder around? Hmm? If you see Master Felix again, I'd like you to give him a message from me. Tell him that I, Bormren, owe a lifetime of happiness entirely to him. Farewell, and good health on your journey. And since we're here, and it's here. Jury's still out on how to pronounce that. But this is the Yggdrasil tree, Yggdrasil tree, Yggdrasil tree, however you're pronouncing it. Um, and if you don't already have a leaf of this tree in your inventory, at dawn you can come collect one. Which is neat. Um... Now that we've done that, we're just going to teleport back to Chateau Felix. The leaf um, is a, a resurrection item. So, yeah, we like it. We, we want that. <laughs> Meow. And now it's officially morning. It's fine. We didn't spend all night playing with cats. We're grown-ups. What ho! Finally made it back, I see. And you managed to give my old charm a leg up. That strange tree where you met him has been known since ancient times as the Tree of Sticks. It's all too bally easy to lose your way around it, not realizing that your innings is over. But now the old beans realized what's happened to him, and he's safely on his way to the afterlife. You know he, Borin, was the first Sabercat ever to open up his heart to me. Absolutely terrific chap. It's thanks to him that I've got where I am today. And that's precisely why I couldn't leave the job unattended to go and help the old boy myself. Hmm? What am I doing? Of course, I haven't explained yet, eh? I'm the chairman of the great Sabercat Trust. I know. Why don't I make you a member? It's the least I can do after all your help. 
You have this. It shows you're one of us. The bell is your proof of membership. It'll call a nearby saber cat if you ring it in the right place. Hmm? What's the bell called? Well, it doesn't really have a name. I suppose that'd make it a bit of a pig to use, eh? Righto! How about we call it Bormrand's Pear, eh? In memory of a good friend and a fine old gent. Thanks for your help. Remember now, always keep the saber cats in your heart. What? All right. So now we have Balmerin's Bell, which allows us to call a saber cat to ride anytime we are on a continent that also has saber cats. And that's an important distinction, because if there's no saber cat on the continent, it doesn't matter if you ring the bell. There's no saber cat coming. <laughs> So, and this is just going to speed up our travel uh, anytime we are in land, essentially. Um, and also, we get to ride a freaking cat, y'all. Like, it's great. So, the first thing I'm going to do with that item, actually, is put it in Hero's Inventory. I'm actually going to do that. He does not need that cheese, so... We don't need to equip that. Okay, cool. First thing I'm going to do with this is give it to Yangus, since he's the most likely to survive. And also does not have an ability to heal, any to resurrect anyone, so. Because he's got almost twice as much health as Jessica does. Yikes. That's sad. It's just a, that's just a sad fact right there. So, if we talk to Tom now... He'll just tell us, now that we have the bell, we don't have to borrow them from him, which is great. Because there are places in the world where you can't take the cat from Chateau Felix, but you can call another cat. So, And I think I heard the alchemy pot. I did! I did hear the alchemy pot! Any more basic cheese? I do not. Okay. Well then, this is what we're going to make next. So, if we take cold cheese and spicy cheese, super spicy cheese, and some rock salt, we're going to make a really cool item. really need to get more rock salt is the problem <laughs> okay so now that we've done that the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Maury's place and talk to him because if you'll recall we found all of those um, infamous monsters on his list and we sent them back here to him so now we're gonna go talk to him and see what happens next So it's you, ragazzo. I knew you'd come see me today, ragazzo. The winds, they bring your scent to me. You do the good job for me. Now it is my turn to do it for you. You will not be needing that memo no more. Here, let me take it for you. I can sense the fire burning up in your eyes, ragazzo. I can sense your hidden potential, your gusto, your passion. So let me show you my appreciation by taking you inside. I know you've been wondering about this place, eh? Allora, follow me! Um... Yeah, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> cool, cool. 
Also, before we follow him inside, I just remembered that there's a treasure chest around the back of this building and that I never opened. Whoops. Open! Yes! It is Italian Hercule. Really? Y'all, just go away. <laughs> you don't stand a chance against me. Go away. <laughs> don't fight me, bruh. Taint worth it. So dramatic. Ragazzo. Behind this door lies a world you cannot imagine. This will be a day of remembrance for you. Prepare to be dazzled. Oh, Mori, darling. I didn't expect to see you in here today. Heard something on the wind then, have ya? Ha ha ha! Curioso, eh? I like that in my ladies. But not too much, eh, boys? <laughs> no. I come to see your face, Miri. My bellissimo flower. Oh, you. Flattery will get you everywhere. Ha ha ha! That's my girl. Va bene. It's this way. I'll be waiting for you in the bottom. Well, okay then. Mary? <laughs> Mori hasn't brought anyone new here for ages. I wonder if you've got what it takes. Oh, I'm so excited. I can hardly contain myself. <laughs> Creepy. Okay. Not even... Nope. We're just gonna follow him. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Where are you? Murray. You're not leaving already, are you? No, you don't want to go before you've had some fun. Of course you don't. You just can't. No, no, no. You just go around and have a word with Morin, all right, darling? Then you and me can have a little natter. I don't... Of what? <laughs> I don't think I understand. But it's okay. We're just going to go talk to Mori. Is this an elf? Oh my god, y'all, it's Tingle. <laughs> ah, you be amazed, eh? This is what I wanted to show you. Ragazzo, can you feel it? The sights, the sounds, the smells! Monstrous Pete! <laughs> Maury! I thought that name was our little secret. Don't go telling the whole world. <laughs> okay. Eh, excuse me, my flower. <laughs> yes, the sights, the sounds, the smells! are simply This is a place of monster combattimento. Teams of the three monsters fight heads to heads. There are seven different ranks for your team to try, eh? And this is all you need to know. It's simple, no? So, 
Ragazzo, you are wanting your own team, eh? Yes. <laughs> I knew you would say yes. But the rules say you will need the 200,000 gold pieces. Uh, uh. Now you know why this place is full of the rich people, eh? <laughs> so, ragazzo, can you pay the money? Uh, no. <laughs> so, I do you wrong. I should never have asked you such a question. It's good. I explain what I mean. The 200,000 gold pieces you need for to have your own monster team. I will make the payment for you. But why? But naturalmente, I not give it to you without no wires attached, eh? There are conditions. You must swear this one thing. You must swear to fight your way to the very top of the monster arena. What do you say? Can you swear it? Do you have what it takes? Can you conquer my monstrous pit? Uh... Yes! I really don't want to be anywhere near your pit, Mori. Then it is decided! Ragazzo, from this moment, you are the owner of your very own monster team! He's so dramatic. <laughs> that, like, everyone else is like, oof. Oof. So, let's get straight down to business, eh? First, you will need a good, strong name for your team. An intense name that shows the, the, the passion. If you cannot think of a good name, I can do it for you. So, you want to name your own team? All right, friends, this is it. We need a team name. Anyone have any good suggestions? So, you want to choose your own name. Uh, let's see what you got, eh? It must be 18 letters or less. Oh, gosh. I mean, we could... Mm. Is license to smash less than 18 letters? Am I spelling license right? That doesn't look right. Quick, someone tell me how to spell license. <laughs> it just doesn't look right. Is that right? Or did I did I switch the S and the C to be S? Oh my gosh. I get I guess that's the correct way. Okay. Okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you, Keen. Uh, we need a space. Can I put in? Yes, okay. The space. I feel like the word smash should be all capitalized, like we're yelling it. Do we need an exclamation point? Probably not. We don't need it. Okay, well, okay. Anyway. Yes, that's probably the that's best team name, name I've ever come up ah, with. Where is the forza? The bravado? The passion, eh? Excuse you. Oh, never mind. Excuse you. That's way better than any of the names you were gonna come up with, Mori. So, ragazzo, you have named your team. 
Now, you must think of the team members. At first, your team will consist of the three monsters you found for me. Lonely Joe, Squiggles, and the Smiles. But, of course, you will never reach the top of Mori's monstrous pit with such a team. <laughs> you need to find the stronger monsters during your travels to make your team better. And remember this. The strength of the monsters in the team is also affected by the strength of the team owner. But that doesn't mean you will have the strong team just by being the strong owner. And the monsters are not like the humans, no. They don't get no stronger by fighting more. In some other words, if you want your team to be better, you must swap the team members for the stronger monsters. That's right! Your mission is to search the world for powerful monsters. Add them to your team and make it stronger! Be the ultimate team and rise to the very top of my monstrous pit. That is the thrill. The ecstasy of the Monster Arena! The ecstasy of the... Uh, Mori, I think everyone heard you loud and clear the first time, darling. Okay? Ah, <laughs> scusi, scusi. <laughs> I just thought it needed more gusto. It didn't. <laughs> but anyway, you will need these. Now you can enter in the arena whenever you want and take part in the championato of my monstrous pit any time you like. Go and talk to the man at the center counter whenever you want to enter the pit. But if you want to be smart, you talk to some people and get the information first, eh? I look forward to seeing your gusto. Ragazzo, buona fortuna! Okay, so now we have the monster arena unlocked. The next thing we are going to do is go get stronger monsters. Because I don't know about you, but uh, Squiggles and Lonely Joe and uh, Smiley, whatever, are not the strongest monsters that we have seen out in the wild. So I'm actually going for two right now that are easy to get to and I know where they are. So we're going to start with, if you'll recall, all the way back at the beginning of the game. The basic, the, you know, the giant lizard with an axe. Which is actually outside the other door to Fairbury, so we gotta go out the other side. So we're going to go get that guy first. And at this point in the game, it's actually not really possible for us to master the monster arena but we're not looking to master it we're just looking to get like the first i think it's three levels um beaten so that we can get some of the prizes y'all you don't want to be here this is a bad time for you don't fight me okay just like don't thank you good talk all right bye There he is. I was about to say, where is he? It's okay. He's made his appearance. The Axo Raptor. <laughs> So, yeah. Oh, he 
doesn't have his axe on. We can fix that. He's a toughie. He's a toughie, but that's all right. We want him to be a toughie. That's the whole point of uh, fighting him and getting him on our team. So, you know what? This is a shitty sword, but let's see if the dragon slash works any better. like a mini boss there he goes down ooh silver monster coin aw oh, yeah yes we do want to add him so we're gonna say goodbye to the slime Alright, and then the other one we're going to go get is actually that one we saw on Neos, if you'll recall. Uh, we saw that gold golem. Um, as the game progresses, you actually get better and better enemies for this. Um, and you actually put together teams of monsters that like work together well essentially. Um, and the gold golem is one member of one of the teams that I generally use. <laughs> there, There's so many different teams that you can build, but I generally find that the golem team and the robot team are the two that help, that get me all the way there. Sometimes it takes a couple of tries, but I've had success with it, so I stick to it. Actually... I'm just going to put the boomerang back on because I think that his attack is better with it. Ooh, critical hit right off the bat. Nice work. Hmm. She might be casting some spells. Ooh, we like that. Okay. For sure. There we go. Got him. So yeah, he's not as strong as the Axoraptor is. But he dropped a gold monster coin, and we are not mad about that. Yes. Alright, bye squiggles. All right, and that is honestly, I think, good enough to take on the first couple of rounds um, of the monster arena. So we're going to do that next. We Actually, we've done a lot of stuff. Is this, can I save here? Yes! 
Yes, I can. We just we've done a lot of stuff since uh, the Sea View Church, so definitely should save. Now we will go down into the monster arena. I refuse to call it the pit. It throws that word around way too much. It does not make me happy. Okay, so we're going to talk to this dude. Yes, I would like to send my team into the monster arena. And that's the only rank I can do, so... Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank G Battle! Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team! License to Smash! In the blue corner, captained by Grimey, we have the Slimies! It's going to be a top flight fight that's out of sight. Let's get it on. So something with this is I have absolutely no control over what happens. <laughs> the monsters do their own thing. All I can do is say fight or no, I give up. Why would I give up? Hackzilla. Just running in. Smashy, smashy. We done here. <laughs> the fans are going absolutely wild. And now it's time for round two of the Rank G contest. The teams are ready to go. The fans are ready to go. Heck, I'm ready to go. Let's hear it for round two. In the red corner, we have our heroes monster team. Faces to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Gracie, we have Team Face Off. It's a glorious contest of havoc and hostility. Let's get it on. Something else to point out is that this is a marathon of battles. So any damage you took in a previous battle carries over into the next one where your enemies are completely fresh. Which sucks. Uh, but the good news is it only takes three rounds. So you just have to beat three three rounds of enemy team, and then you've beaten that one. So that one was easier than the first one was. Jeez. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. The winner of this epic battle will walk away as Rank G Monster Arena Champion. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Gruely, we have the Bully Brothers. Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on!
We did it! A most spectacular performance. This is the prize for winning rank G. Congratulations. Magnifico! Ragazzo! I never doubt it. I could see you have the potential. You bring the breath of fresh air to my monstrous pit. <laughs> I did nothing of the sort. Don't tell people that. So, I suppose I should give you the reward, eh? Something just for you. French Western cowboy accent. I mean... I have it. Up until now, you could only get the three monsters at a time, eh? But now, just for you, ragazzo. In addition to your team, I make it so you can keep another three monsters in reserve. So you can mix and match your six monsters to make the new team of three. <laughs> Think the tactics. Think the strategy. I wish you the buona fortuna for your next fight, eh? Ragazzo. Yep. Let's do it again. And honestly, we're just going to see how far we can push with this team. Because um, I don't remember the rank it is that we get the thing that I'm actually here for. But we're going to get there. Oh, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> The Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank F Battle! Let's give the team owners a big hand! The first round is about to begin! In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team! License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Fisher, we have the Fisher Kings! It's a close fight! Let's bound to excite. Let's get it on. The fans are going absolutely wild. And now, it's time for round two of the Rank F Contest. The teams are ready to go. The fans are ready to go. Heck, I'm ready to go. Let's hear it for round two. In the red corner. We have our Heroes Monster Team! License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Felbull, we have Hell's Bells! It's a campaign of pain that'll fry your brain! Let's get it on! <laughs> yep, right in the ding a ling. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. 
the winner of this epic battle will walk away as the Rank F Monster Arena Champion. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. In the blue corner, captained by Finnegan, we have the Red Barons. Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on! Lonely Joe's starting to drop off, though, hey? A most spectacular performance. This is the prize for winning a rank F. Congratulations. <laughs> Splendido! Ragazzo! You are the real combatente, eh? So much gusto! You keep it up, and you will go far in my monstrous pit. Maybe you surprise even yourself. You earn another reward. See, eh, what can I give you? I have it! Maybe you have the strong team, but you know what they say. You never know the depths of your own passion until you play with yourself, eh? Literally everything this guy says is filthy. So, I give you this. You and only <laughs> you will be able to do the battle against your own team. It's like the training. And you don't even need to pay no money to fight your own team. This is my gift to you. Yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> I am too kind. I wish you the buona fortuna for your next fight, eh? Ragazzo. All right, let's see if we can push it another, another rank. Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank E Battle. Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Erickson, we have the Prison Pussycats. It's going to be a top flight fight that's out of sight. Let's get it on. Mm-hmm. The Prison Pussycats. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't, I don't write these names, folks. Thank <laughs> you. 
Really? Well, that's some hot garbage. Alright. Yeah! Get him! Alright, good. <laughs> I'm not expecting Lonely Joe to make it all the way through this battle. Um, I, re I just really don't expect that to happen. The fans are going I'm trying to figure out wild. who I can replace him and with that's easy it's to get to. round two of the Rank E Contest. The teams are ready to go. The fans are ready to go. Heck, I'm ready to go. Let's hear it for round two. In the red corner. We have our Heroes Monster Team! License to Smash! In the blue corner, captained by Elidor, we have the Fiend Family. It's a fight so tight, even Lady Luck don't know what to write. Let's get it on! Oh no, that's bad. Oh, thank God. <laughs> there he goes. I didn't think he'd make it all the way to that third battle. Gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. The winner of this epic battle will walk away as the Rank E Monster Arena Champion. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. License to smash! In the blue corner. Captain by Eviana. Shall we dance? It's the Dirty Dancers. Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on. Not impressed with your underpants. And I don't have any magic for you to steal. Okay, bye. He dodged. Still don't have any magic for you to steal, bud. HP or something. <laughs> A most spectacular performance. 
This is the prize for winning a rank E. Congratulations. You take my breathing away. Ragazzo, before I know it, you become the owner of the Magnifico Monster Team, eh? You give my monstrous pit a good licking, eh? I look forward to the exciting time. I ahead. did not do that. Do not tell people I licked your monstrous pet. What gusto. Now I give to you the prize. I let you have the fantastic on you skill. Now you will be able to call your team to fight for you even outside of the arena. Oh, sweet. That, my friends, is what we came for. But remember this. Outside, it is real fighting. Maybe it's not so smooth as down here in my pit. I hate stop talking about your pit. Out in the world, your team can only fight in your place for a limited time. But this is still fantastico. It will be good for the fighting. If you are using it well, you will have the better traveling, eh? And one more thing you must remember. If one of your monsters is defeated out in the world, I am the only one who can bring it back to life. If this is happening, make sure you come to see me, okay? I am here for you. And I have given the life back to your dead team members. I wish you the buona fortuna for your next fight, eh? Ragazzo. All right. That is an important ability for a couple of boss fights. Um, because there's a handful of bosses that, like, always do the same move initially or, like, early on in the battle. Um, and you can actually call in your monster team to take the brunt of that, which is super, super beneficial. Um, I don't think we ever opened up the treasure chest at Peregrine Key. So we're going to do that. And then we're going to go hunt for a another monster that I'm pretty sure is out in the world over here somewhere. And then we're gonna see if we can't unlock rank D. We didn't, we didn't open these chests. All right. Hey, free boomerang. Happy to help. Glad you didn't need it. All right, we like free money. Hey, we really like mini metals. Ooh. It went ding. I heard it go ding. Whoops. Nope, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that's what I wanted. Ha ha! Highly strung cheese! So the highly strung cheese, actually, when you feed it to Munchie in battle, boosts the tension level of all four party members by one. Um, it is only usable once, but it is kick-ass. <laughs> and this is why I need more rock salt, because as you see, I have plenty of super spicy cheese, and I have another cold cheese, and if I had another rock salt, I could make another one, but I don't, so I can't. It's kind of disappointing. In the meantime, though, I am going to make a second reinforced boomerang, because it's basically the only thing you can use the iron nails for once you've gotten the thieves' key. It's the only useful thing, anyway. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and cast Holy Protection while we're running around out here, because... These enemies are not worth my time. They are not worth your time. Um, ooh, actually, you know what? 
I bet. We can speed up this process even further. All right. Now we're talking. No, you're not the one I want. I'm not after you. Will, however, take this treasure chest. Open. Open the treasure chest. There you go. Okay, feathered cap. That's nice. That's a, that's a nice cap. Pretty sure. Yeah, there he is. How do I get up there? I'm gonna go over this way. So this is the next uh, golem, basically. The bricklayer. Mm, now we'll just attack. Now nah, we'll just attack. Actually, let's. Not bad. It's got a hefty chunk of health. Like that silver monster coin. Yes, please. All right, and then we can actually reorganize the monster team from here. Um, swap him out for Brickman, who's got more health <laughs> and is therefore a better fit for this crew. And now we're going to go back to the monster arena and see if we can't beat rank D with this group. And if we can't, it's not that big of a deal because the main thing we were here for was the call team ability. Um, but yeah. New monsters get released after you defeat certain ranks. So we've released some new monsters after defeating rank F. And we'll release even more monsters after defeating rank D. And we d we want that. <laughs> we want that. Um, but really, we need to get all the way to rank B eventually. Uh, not right now, but eventually... Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a Rank D Battle! Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team! License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Darren, we have Team Nightmare. It's going to be a top flight fight that's out of sight. Let's get it on. All right, let's get him, boys.
The fans are going absolutely wild. Genuinely, and, uh, just... It's time for round two of the Rank D Contest. Just monster battle things. Um, and... There are lots of different tactics to take here, as you can see by the kinds of, like, compositions we're fighting. Like, there are people who, like, do, like, poison, and, and um, then there's the dancing team, and then that team was all about night stuff or whatever, um, because different team compositions have different special abilities. I don't worry about special abilities until after rank D, so hopefully we don't have to worry about it just yet. Um... The really the teams that I want to build I can't build yet because we're not far enough along in the game. The but teams are it's always to good go to get cool shit early on. Corner. We have <laughs> our heroes monster team. License to smash in the blue corner, captained by Darcy. We have the dead heads. It's a mm, historic a hoedown of a showdown. Let's get it on! Don't waste our time, Brickman. Just fight him. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. The winner of this epic battle will walk away as the Rank D Monster Arena Champion. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. In the blue corner, Captain by Deagle, hypertension warning, hits the Psychos. Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on! Man, I wish I could do that. Just instantly fully tense. Fine, he's dead, so... he could do that he even did it to us when we fought him <laughs> i just forgot he could do that he's kind of cross-eyed Yeah, ain't got nothing on this. I have two golems and a dinosaur with an axe. You like fight me? <laughs> a most spectacular performance. This is the prize for winning a rank D. Congratulations! <laughs> and they say everyone gets stuck at rank D. 
But not you, eh? Ragazzo! You become the incredible monster team owner already! What can I say? Soon, maybe I'll be running out of prizes. But not yet. For your victory prize today, I'll let you keep the three more monsters in reserve. Now you have the nine monsters to choose from for your team. As they say, variety is the life of spices. I wish you the buona fortuna for your next fight, eh? Ragazzo. Oh my gosh, Cabby Bear, I hadn't even noticed. But he does have that permanent wind. It is very diva. It is very Beyonce. <laughs> okay, so that was rank D. And that did... That did unlock another good monster we could go collect right now. Come back. But I think before I do that, I need to take a quick break because I am a human being. So give me just a few minutes, my friends. In the meantime, please enjoy this lovely view of our guides. Maybe not that one. Maybe this one. How about that? Make it, make it nice and big. Whoop. Make that one smaller. There we go. There you go. And now you can kind of see... Boop. There you go. That's what the world map kind of looks like. And you can you can see all of the good stuff. Alright, I'll be back in just a few minutes, friends.
All right. I have returned, which means we are ready to go back here. Um, so what did I say we were going to do? Were we going to go get that other monster and then come back again? Yeah, we're going to do that. <laughs> we're going to do that. Because there should be a good old monster for us. Waiting on Neos, actually. Nope. Zoom. There we go. There it is. Neos. So we're gonna head over to Neos. And, um... In the realm of giant guardian things. There should be Big Boy right over here somewhere. There he is! There he is. He's a big boy. We should heal real fast. There we go. Alright. He's a big boy. He's stompy with the big foot. The crazed colossus. Holy shit. Holy shit. This might be a terrible idea. <laughs> oh no! Come on, Jess. All right, okay. Okay. Holy damn. All right. Holy crap, he took out half my health in one stomp. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're just gonna go for that. We're gonna go for that. Uh, does he have any good? No, he really, he really doesn't. Uh, we'll try Flame Slash. We're gonna Twin Dragon Lash again. Oh no, oh god, live! Okay, phew. And that's why we cast Full Heal. Holy crap, we almost died, y'all. <laughs> oh, it didn't lower its defense any further, but that's okay. We're just gonna keep cracking the whip at it. Just keep going. Please don't kill Jessica. Oh my gosh. Oof. Oof, yeah, that'll help. Okay. Uh... Okay, she gets to live. Whew! Man! This thing hits like a freaking truck! And that's as low as I can get its defense, so... Oh my goodness. We're gonna... We're gonna take it up a notch and see if we can't execution that shit. Oh my goodness. This thing has so much health! How does it have so much health?! <laughs> oh my god! Come on, Yangus! Yeah! That's my boy. <laughs> Y'all, we almost died. <laughs> yes, we do. Look at look at that HP. Look at that attack. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's see. Who should we swap out? Probably Goldman. Because he's got the next lowest stats. Well. He's got less health, but higher attack than Brickman does. That's interesting. Hmm. 
I think the health is ultimately more important, though, honestly. So, okay, now that we've looked at that, surely we could take on the next level of the monster arena, right? Surely. Let's find out. We're just gonna find out. We're just gonna do it and see if we can do it. <laughs> and if we can't do it, we can't do it, but that doesn't mean we shouldn't try. Man, he, like, oof. He almost killed us. I'm, like, <laughs> I'm really hoping that that's a sign of things to come. All right, come on, rank C. If we could, man, do you think we could get rank B? That would be insane. Ladies and gentlemen, the Monster Arena is proud to present a rank C battle. Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Coral, we have the Beach Babes. It's a close fight that's bound to excite. Let's get it on! Should have put him in the center. Damn. The fans are going absolutely wild. And now, it's time for round two of the Rank C contest. The teams are ready to go. The fans are ready to go. Heck, I'm ready to go. Let's hear it for round two. In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Crazy Inventor, Mad Scientist Spawn hits Bad Science! She blinded me with science. It's a historic hoedown of a showdown. Let's get it on! it dodged me. Yeah. Dodge this. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. This is the final round. The winner of this epic battle will walk away as the Rank C Monster Arena Champion. In the red corner, 
we have our Heroes Monster Team. License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Countess Christie, a noble cause, it's Battle Royals! Down into the pit they go. Which side wins? Nobody knows. Let's get it on! Gowza. I like how the text informs us that Talos stomps with his enormous foot, in case we were unaware that his feet are large. Ooh, we got special music. Our most spectacular performance. This is the prize for winning rank C. Congratulations. Ooh, same sashes, eh? Like the streak of the blue, eh? You come from nowhere and make it to the champion eh, of the rank C in no time flat. Most of the people are taking more than 10 years to reach the rank C, but you are not the most people, eh? Ragazzo! Also, I don't got that kind of time, sir. I wish I could give you some reward for the victory, but uh, I have nothing. Mi dispiace. But before, I always give you something nice, eh? Hmm. Va bene. Here is what I do. You make it to the next rank, you become the champion of the rank B, and I will give you the grande prize. I wish you the buona fortuna for your next fight, eh? Ragazzo. All right, let's push our luck. Uh-oh. We and gentlemen, might have met our match. The Monster <laughs> Arena is proud to present a Rank B Battle. Let's give the team owners a big hand. The first round is about to begin. <laughs> In the red corner, we have our Heroes Monster Team. License to smash! In the blue corner, captained by Bald here, the Dragon Questers, it's the Drag Queens! I think we're going to lose to the drag queens, y'all. It's going to happen. It's a dream duo for Monster Arena Fools. Let's get it on. This is the furthest I've ever tried to go this early in the game. <laughs> No! 
Well, that bitch gets to attack twice. That's bullshit. Yeah, I don't think we're going to beat this level. <laughs> Brickman's over here psyching up and being useless. health does this thing have? There it goes. That was a very costly round one. <laughs> oh my goodness. The fans are going absolutely wild. And now oh my gosh. No, we don't. Yeah, we get it. We're ready. Corner. Okay. License to smash. In the blue corner. Captained by Bogart. Cruising for a bruising. It's the tough nuts. There's a joke here, but I'm not going to say it. It's going to be a top flight fight that's out of sight. Let's get it on. Oh my gosh. We're okay. So this is going to be it. <laughs> We're going to get our butts handed to us. Yep. All right, Talos, buddy. It's all up to you, man. Oh, there we go. Put me out of my misery. Holy crap. Okay. Well, I've never tried to beat rank B that early before anyway, and now there's a reason. Because, <laughs> wow, that was trash. Oh, he's waiting with bad breath for our next battle. Okay. Nope. That will not be right now because really the main thing I was here for was the call team ability, which we got a while back. But then I was like, let's keep killing monsters. This is fun. All right. But now we're going to go back to the business at hand, which was tracking down dual magus, which we're pretty sure dude is somewhere on an island north of Baccarat. So Baccarat is in the top like left corner. So we need, there's an island up there all the way in that top left corner. So that's where we need to go. Fortunately, we can teleport from here to the Sea View Church. And that's what we're going to do. And then we're going to go ahead and rest at the Sea View Church. And then we're going to sail up to that island and see what we can find.
All right, we're really getting into true mid-game stuff here, friends. All right, we're going to go ahead and save, too, because we I don't remember the last time we saved, so that means we need to save. I feel like it was before we started the monster arena. Maybe. That sounds right. It was. It was in the monster arena, in fact. But we did all that monster arena stuff, so now we're going to save again. Now that we distracted ourselves with side quests. We're going to go back to the main quest. The real reason we're here, which is to track down Dual Magus and bring him to justice. Oh, you know what? There's a treasure chest back here behind this building. Open the chest. Oh my gosh, that was a that was a journey in and of itself. Just trying to open the chest. Jeez. All right. Back to the boat. Back to the boat. We're just going to get on our boat. Do 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 do. What cool stuff did we get? Mighty armlet. Ooh. Actually, yeah, we're going to give that to Jessica. Yeah. I'm going to give this to the hero. We really need to upgrade his weapons soon. Okay, we want to go this way. Huh. That storm cloud looks a lot like the one over Trodane. I wonder what happens if we go there. Cliffs and shit we gotta deal with, so I guess we're going to the beach. The beach, the beach, the beach, the beach. What a beach! Sorry, I'll stop now. Ocean creatures. They gotta be. Perfect. Yes, I didn't need to do axes of evil. That's alright. Again, it costs us nothing to do it. dudes. Surely it's too dangerous to carry on pursuing this fiend. I mean, look at what he did to Golding. Huh? Who are you? Interesting. I thought there was no one on this island besides us and Golding's murderer. Let me give you a piece of advice. Steer clear of the old ruins in the middle of the island. Ignore me at your peril. You have been warned. Sounds like we need to go to the old ruins in the center of the island. That's what I heard. We chased that jester all the way here, but now that it's come to the crunch, 
just can't see any hope of victory against someone strong enough to overpower Mr. Golding. But now we've come this far, we could hardly just turn around and go home. Ugh, what to do, what to do? I don't know. Nut up? Jeez. Why did that jester have to choose such a spooky hideout? It wasn't so creepy here. We wouldn't hesitate to go after him. Well, maybe he's preying upon your weaknesses. All right. Saber cat? Saber cat. Really? <laughs> How anticlimactic! Oh my gosh! We got a level up, that's nice. Ah, finally reached the cap. So, the game does prevent you from hitting your maximum in any level, the maximum's 100, um, until you are a high enough level. So, now that we've reached that point on staves for Jessica, uh, we're gonna start putting them back into whips anything over her maximum for staves. I don't remember what the formula is, but I think you can't hit 100 until uh, I want to say level 34. Hey, you know, I I also love the whips. Um, I, the reason we do staves for Jessica is it gives her uh, kazing once you get her all the way up to maximum, which I'm just a fan of everybody having the ability to resurrect people. So Yangus is the only one who can't do pure resurrection without sacrificing his own life. Um, and Jessica, you gotta, you gotta commit to staves. You just gotta do it. Plus it gives her all kinds of other cool stuff um, on the way. Like she learned oomph that way and... Um, something else. It doesn't matter. It's it's a personal choice. Everybody plays a little bit differently. Actually, you know what? This might call for thin air. Like, for the longest time, I just went straight axes for Yangus, and I didn't bother with anything else, and then I learned about the thin air attack, and now, woof. I will never go, I'll never go another playthrough without getting thin air, uh, <laughs> because that, that one ability is just so powerful. Let's see how Boom does against these guys. Oh, I know what it is that Jessica gets. She gets Accelerotl and Magic Barrier, which are both very important um, support spells. Um, but Kazing is really what we're after here because Whips are really great, but once you get to 68 points in Whips, you don't really need to put more in them anymore uh, because that's the last... Um, attack power boost after that is skills and for me the skills that you get above that level i never ever use them so there's really no point to them i guess i could have fought that guy and added him to our monster team but i don't want to and i mean there are people who swear by her knife skills which i have never used <laughs> 
So I don't know if the, the knives are really that great because eventually you can get her the ability to use a sword, which is cool. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't use it. So it's hard for me to say this is a good skill set because I, I don't use that skill set. Angelo for me is the one that I usually struggle with deciding what to do with him just because he's got good skills halfway up each of his skill trees and the top of his skill trees aren't that great. So right now we're doing with Angelo kind of the same thing we did with Jessica where we got him the necessary skills to kill metal things and now we're just increasing his staff skills so that he can also learn oomph, which will be useful eventually in the end game. But again, that's because that's my personal playstyle, and there's absolutely nothing, like, there's not a wrong way to build these skills. Like, Pick one and go with it, and go with it fully all the way, and you'll be fine. But again, everybody does it a little bit differently. Okay, she was right. This place is creepy as shit. Creepy. Creep creeps. Like a, there's like a well here? That, that's creepy. I'm not a fan of that. Over here. Is there anything over here? Broken pots. Empty chest. Hey, look. Let's smash these barrels. Can I even check these chests? No. No, I cannot. Okay, that's fun. Alright. Well... Nothing to it but to do it, I guess. Creepy as shit! Ah, I hate it in here. Wait, where... Where is anything? Where's the door? Nope, don't like that. When you all set off so bravely... We decided it was time we did the same. So, perhaps you could fill us in. Hmm, I see. The dark aura coming out of the ruins is some kind of barrier set up by Dulmagus, is it? So we have to break through that before we can fight him then. But how? How do you break through darkness? Ah! Wait a minute! How about the magic mirror of Argonia? People say that can dispel the dark. You never know. It might do the trick. If I remember rightly, Argonia's off to the southeast of Baccarat, isn't it? Here a dark history lies sealed. Only a magical light can break the dark aura entombing it. Ooh, not a fan of the use of the word entombing there. Uh, but it sounds like we can't do what we needed to do here. So, let's head back to Chateau Felix, I guess? Yeah, because Chateau Felix is a little bit further along on the way. Because uh, apparently we need to go to Argonia. Boop. And call the kitty. Good kitty. All right. Gotta go around the back side. Fight some more enemies. Oh, metal side. You know what? Put the axe back on.
definitely won't say no to the gold. So we're actually coming into my favorite section of the game. <laughs> well, second favorite, but that's because my favorite is actually the post game. So, you know, story wise, anyway, this is one of my favorite sections that we're coming up on because we need to go to Argonia to s get the magic mirror, essentially. walk from Baccarat, actually. It's interesting to me how far inland Argonia is comparison-wise, because, like, there's no way to land closer to it than the Seaview Church. Um. Because if there were, I'd go that way. <laughs> well, there might be... Might be a river. might be a river that we could take. I don't know if the boat's too bad for it, though. Okay, here's a sign. What's the sign say? From the front. Lake Argon. Kitty! Hmm. That's a solid build for Hero. Um, I usually don't put anything into Boomerang for Hero because I really only use the Boomerang in regular battles and then in, like, boss fights or serious fights, uh, I usually use the sword. Uh, the spears, I only put skills into for leveling purposes to kill the, the metal slimes, essentially. Courage is definitely one. That's what we're working on with our hero right now, is to get him up to uh, at least 82. Spears for bosses, it, that, yeah. By all means. I usually try to do swords and courage both all the way to 100 because then you get the like uber, uber sword ability. But again, everybody plays a little bit differently and none of it's inherently correct. It's just how do you like to play? The closer I get to the end game, the more I usually end up using the hero as like the healer <laughs> so it doesn't matter quite as much as it does everyone else there we go and now heroes leveled up see and i usually i usually build angelo for bows um, because I like his shining shot ability that hits everything at once. All right, so you can see right here. Bam! He's lion hearted, and now he knows Omni Heal. Uh, and Omni Heal heals everyone all the way to their max, which is why we were after that. <laughs> Because once you get that, that basically becomes, he, that basically turns him into our go-to heal anytime anything is dying. There's this blind old man who lives in the forest to the west of here. I was just there the other day trying to make a sale. I was wondering to myself if he might sometimes get shortchanged when he buys things, what with not being able to see at all. Not all traders are as good and honest as me, you know. I'm always very careful to be fair like that. Anyway, just as I was musing away, he piped up and said he'd never once been shortchanged. Well, that took me aback, I can tell you. 
It's like he read my mind or something. Talk about a coincidence. We travel all over the continent sailing our wares. If there's anything you need, I'm sure we can sort you out. Ooh, he's got stuff to buy. Sweet. Less sweet. Kind of sweet. Less sweet. Oh, we really do need a boomerang upgrade. We've had the reinforced boomerang for way too long. And I've been, I've just been lugging this copper sword around. Yeah, see, Jessica staves to 100. That's the, that's the trick. The staves are literally, they're not for attacking. It's literally just to get her kissing. <laughs> that's, that's all I'm after. I just want to be able to, to heal everybody and resurrect everybody. That is the goal. Um, everything else is secondary. Like, if you can't knock me down, I'm gonna kill you eventually, essentially. So. No, I don't... I don't want to buy any of those things. Thanks, though. Thanks for that. Is there anything I can loot inside your tent? Boop, boop. No, nothing to loot inside your tent. Oh, there's a dude in here, though. Does he sell stuff? I bought in a load of snakeskin whips by my by mistake a while back. Couldn't sell them all, of course. Racked my brains trying to figure out a way to get rid of them. And then I stumbled on an alchemy recipe to turn them into dragon tail whips. Can't tell you what it is, mind. I suppose I could give you a hint. They're called dragon tail, so they're obviously made from part of a dragon. Two parts, to be precise. All right, new alchemy recipe. Okay, wait. They said that there was a, an old dude to the west. So, this way? Yeah, that way. Let's go check it out. But, you know, on the cat, because it's much faster to just do it on the cat. My guess with your Yangus build is that you went for scythes for the, uh, stealing ability that comes with it but like I've never found the stealing ability to be all that useful un until end game and even then it's not that great so I just don't I just don't scythe with Angus yeah Angus is here for the axes and that's pretty much it in fact Angus is here for axes level 82 um because the 100 point ability is not that great, but 82 definitely great. Um, and then we usually, uh, then I usually do humanity so that he also gets the ability to heal. So, in fact, that's what we're gonna put these in. Yeah, I totally buy that, because, like, we'll get to a point where his humanity is maxed out, and then it's like, okay, well, now what do I put it in? I guess scythes! Because <laughs> it is theoretically possible to max everyone out, um, all five of their skills, and that you don't need to do that. There's no, there's literally no reason to do that. But it can be done if you want to. Ooh, this path is all windy, oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a dump skill, you just dump your points into it. You know what, let's put that axe back on now that we've got 
all of our axe skill ready to go. Really, I need more skill points for Angelo at the moment. Because he's just not super useful to me where he's at. I built him a little bit weird this time. problem with the stave skill for Angelo and Jessica is that one of the boosts they get is that they get more magic points if they're equipped with a stave. But if you switch your weapon, you lose that boost and re-equipping it just increases your capacity. It doesn't actually give you those magic points back. So like, it's not great. <laughs> like if you could if you could start a battle with a whip equipped on Jessica, and then if your magic points are getting low, switch to a stave, and it comes with free magic points, that would be awesome, but it's not how it works. Um, so I don't, I just don't. Not, not a fan, not a fan of that ability. Wow, these frogs are hoppy. What? That one in the middle dodged everything! What a clever froggy. Well, it didn't do him any good because he still died. Yeah, really the only time to use the steel sickle with the scythe is um, at the end the, the post-game. You don't need it before the post-game. In my personal opinion, you don't need it before the post-game. Hey, we found a house. There are monsters in this house. People say I'm the most contrary slime around these parts. Did you come to see the old man who lives here? No. Huh, that's no fun. Everyone that comes here is here to see him. Do you really, really want to know where he is? I bet you do. I bet you're dying to know. Huh, well I'm going to tell you whether you like it or not. I'm contrary, see? He's gone to the miserable spring to the west. Wow, it's hard to talk with a lisp. Books. Ooh, pot. A book entitled Legendary Pirates and Their Treasures. Anyone who spent any amount of time on a ship has heard of the secret cave of the legendary pirate Captain Crow. Nobody knows the exact location, and the door is said to be sealed tight, preventing anyone from going inside. If it's hidden pirate treasure you're after, you'd do well to find yourself a key that can open any door before setting out to find the cave. Okay, good advice. Keep that in mind when I'm pirate hunting. It's a book entitled Make Your Own Magical Skirt. In order to make a magical skirt, you need to find a skirt-like garment. A bandit's grass skirt will do nicely. Next, you've got to find something suitably magical to combine it with. Put two magical items in the alchemy pot, add your bandit's grass skirt, and start cooking. You'll have a magical skirt in no time. Alright. I like how they said something skirt-like and then it's literally a skirt. We missed a barrel. Oh. 
We did make some highly strung cheese earlier. So. We've got that going for us, which is nice. I would like to make more, but I need more rock salt, so. But yeah, we like the highly strung cheese. Okay, so he said he's at the spring. So I guess we're going to go to the spring now. Does it bother anyone else that they three of them are leaping in sync and one of them is leaping out of sync? Oh my god, it's driving. Okay, no, they have to die because they're making me crazy. Yeah, just jump together, you idiots. Yeah, the first time I played this game, I initially put a lot of points into the boomerang because I was like, oh, heck, this thing hits everything. I'm putting everything into that. And then I realized that I had effectively hobbled myself as regards uh, power leveling. <laughs> so, whoops. Ah, uh, hello there. It's been quite some time since I've had any visitors. And what have we here? Oh, such an exquisite beauty. I saw many a beautiful princess back at the castle. But you, my dear, oh, you outshine them all. Indeed, oh, indeed. It's easy to see why your fellow travelers guard you so closely. What? You saying you can see the Orc's princess all proper like? Of course he can! Even as a horse, her inner beauty shines through. That's right, my darling. Wait a moment. How can you recognize this horse as my beautiful princess? A horse, you say? <laughs> How curious. Please excuse me, princess. Indeed, here is her mane and her tail. <laughs> she is a horse. <laughs> Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> As you can see, my sight failed me long ago. Now, I view the world through my mind's eye instead. And what it sees is a princess, not a beast of burden. Curious travelers, might you tell me what has happened here? Well, see, there's this bloke called Dulmagus. He did some really shitty things. I see. So, a curse has been placed upon her. Now, I may just have a way to return her to her former self. Yes. Yes. Why don't we give it a try? Really? Where? How? Go, oh, blimey! Don't sneak up on me like that! <laughs> what are you flapping about? I've been here the whole time, you twit! I can't say for sure if it will work, but have her drink from the spring. Its enchanted waters have been known to lift curses. Why don't you try it and see?
father? Father, look! I've returned to normal! What's wrong, father? Why aren't you saying anything? Am I just dreaming? Or is this some new trickery? No! No, my dear. I'm sorry. It's just that you take my breath away. Come here and let me look at you. Oh, father. Medea, my darling Medea. I'm so sorry for making you pull the carriage. It must have been so hard for you. I promise, I'll make it up to you. Oh no, father. You mustn't worry. This isn't just about me. I'm just happy that I could be of service to everyone. That's my Medea. Well, it's high time I restored my own visage to its former glory. Father? Hmm? What's wrong? Medea! Oh, my princess! <laughs> What is this new devilry? It seems our celebrations were premature. Hmm. The curse placed upon the princess must be strong indeed. If the waters don't work, there is but one path left open to you. You must find and defeat the one who placed the curse upon her, Dulmagus. It is the only way to restore the princess to her true form. You must persevere, no matter how long and hard the road ahead. And now I pray you'll excuse me. My old bones get chilled so easily. All right. Oh, my precious princess, what a cruel disappointment. Still, we must carry on. Let us redouble our efforts to bring Dulmagus to account for his sins. I'm terribly sorry to behave so selfishly, but I have a favor to ask. I'm only human for the briefest of moments after drinking from the spring, but it would make me very happy if you could bring me back here every now and then. I'd like to be able to talk to you again, just like we used to, back at the castle. We can forget all about the curse, even if it's only for the few minutes we share together. I can feel the enchantment wearing off. Consider it as a request from me as well. She asks for so little of us. It really is the least we can do. Actually, no. Think of it as an order. Understood? Very well. Now that that's decided, we can move on. Okay, so from this point forward, uh, basically after every new bit of story, we can come back here, Medea can drink from the spring, and then we can talk to the princess, which is pretty cool. The first time I played through this, until this point, I genuinely thought that I was just accompanying, accompanying a monster who thought he was king. <laughs> I was so expecting that, you know, the Shyamalan twist at the end where, surprise, he wasn't actually a king after all. Um, but then you get here, the princess 
really is a freaking princess. And she recognizes Trod as her father. So, crap, it's real. It's really real. And that's when, for me, this game, like, takes off. This is, this is the point at which we're getting serious now. So, we're going to resummon our cat and continue on to Argonia, which is this way. Did I talk to that cow? Does anybody remember if I talked to that cow? I can't remember if I talked to the cow. Get out of here with your weird dance. Oh. We're gonna talk to this cow. Okay, we must have already talked to the cow. Uh, nope, not the monster team. I've been so used to the alchemy pot being the bottom one and now it's not the bottom one anymore. <laughs> All right, now we have a spare reinforced boomerang, which we're gonna hang on to to give to Dodgy Dave in the future. Strength rings are nice, ring of clarity is okay. Do, 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 do. No, I think we're just going to stick with cheese for now. Because cheese is easy. Place we could buy rennet powder. I can't remember now where that was. I'm gonna have to look it up. And this is why we take the cat. So much faster than walking. Back on the road again. On the road again. I can't wait to get on the road again. Hmm. 
Oof. Really hate the uh, instant death attacks. All the more reason to get Jessica Kazing as soon as possible. Nothing happened and it killed itself. <laughs> 10 out of 10, man. Would recommend. <laughs> oh, hi. Who are you? The Hooded Hacker. Sure. Why not? Uh, you know what? We're gonna... We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do... Not that. We're gonna do... That? No. See, this is what I'm talking about. Like, he's just functionally not that useful right now. He's not useless. He's just not useful. It's kind of disappointing, actually. Ooh, dude got two attacks. All right. Yeah, we uh we need him on our monster team if he gets to attack twice. Monster coin, hell yeah. Yeah, join join my team, sir. Mr. Hoodwink. Alright. Okay, no, we want to go to the castle, so we'll go this way. I'm sure the lake is lovely this time of year, but uh, that's not what I'm here for. Ugh, iron scorpions, I hate you. Oh no, Angelo! <laughs> he couldn't stop dancing. Oh, but he leveled up. Okay, cool. Cool beans. All right. Good lord, Angelo. Your skill points are a mess and it's all my fault. It's all my fault. I did this to you. really like to get him something more useful, but it's so far away. And really, let's be honest, he needs oomph. We need to get this boy some oomph. So, staves it is. Our cheese is done.
mini medal. We should probably revisit Princess Mini soon. I don't know how many medals we've acquired, but I bet we could turn them in soon. If my memory serves me correctly, this must be... Yes, it's the kingdom of Argonia. My daughter is due to marry the prince of this realm. Well, well, well. Argonia indeed. That means you'll undoubtedly meet King Clavius and Prince Jommels when you go to collect the magic mirror. And when that happens, you must keep the current condition of the princess and I absolutely secret. If anyone inquires as to the purpose of your travels, tell them you are hunting the villain known as Dulmagus and nothing more. Yeah, we wouldn't want to have any awkward conversations with our future in-laws. Everybody knows what time it is. License to smash time. But actually, we can't access the castle at this hour, so we're going to go ahead and rest first. Whoa! Highway robbery, but fine. Alright, but I'm gonna loot the shit out of your house. Cabinet inspection! You got cabinets? They need inspected. Cabinet inspectors. At your service. I wonder if the clothes that you sometimes find in these things in the inns are like the robes that you steal from hotel rooms. Or you know, the RPG equivalent. <laughs> All right, that was the inn. I think Argonia might be the biggest city that we find ourselves in. Hmm. There might be bigger ones further along. A royal mirror? I wouldn't know about something like that. You should go and ask at the castle. Alright, I guess I'll do that. But first I'm going to talk to this dude. Oh! 
Oh my god, I want it. <laughs> I want it, but it's so expensive. Look at how expensive it is. Okay, let's sell those monster coins we've acquired. Yeah, all three of those. Yeah, take them. Yeah, because I can't do literally anything else with them. So might as well sell them. All right, what else do we have that we are willing to sell? I could sell a couple of these. No, I think we... Yeah, let's sell three. Yep. Mm-hmm. Didn't realize we had a copper one. Alright, that's good. Wow, that snakeskin whip sells good, hey? Shit, I should just make another one of those. Yeah! Okay. Remind me to do that. <laughs> I gotta make another snakeskin whip, because holy crap, those things sell big. And it's just a leather whip and uh, a scale shield. Yeah. Hell, you know what? I'm gonna sell this one. And I'll just craft another one. Cool. Alright. I want that battle axe. Gimme. <laughs> I want the battle axe! <laughs> oh, it's not a big enough upgrade, honestly. I'd rather save up for a new boomerang. Or a nice sword. Man, that's a huge increase. Oh, you know why that was a huge increase? He didn't have the iron axe equipped. Ah! It's fine. It's still a good it's still a good axe. It's still an upgrade. We're not upset about it. Let's smash some pots. Bam. And then I do believe this guy had some cabinets I could inspect. the second iron axe. I don't know what I would do with two of them, but now I have to. It sounds like Prince Charmles is trying every trick in the book to get out of the initiation. Faking illness, shutting himself away, you name it. I suppose you can't really blame him for being scared. He has to take a jewel from one of those huge, fearsome Argon lizards, after all. Hmm. What a useless cabinet. Useless, I says. Hey, look, we made some cheese. But we were going to make a snakeskin whip. To replace the one that we just sold. Flicking through the pages like this makes a refreshing little breeze. <laughs> what? It's a book entitled The ABCs. C is for cow. There's a drawing of a cow next to the letter. 
That was very, that was wonderful. See Lorenzo up on the hill? He's been dis, dinis, disinherited. What does disinherited mean? Ah, if y'all will remember, Lorenzo is the one who's engaged to Jessica. Argonia's just got all of the fiancés, doesn't it? Where is he? Oh, I thought he was going to be, like, up here, because she said up on the hill. Oh, maybe he's in this house. My master is chancellor to the king, and he's an extremely important man. Okay, thank you for the update. My only son Lorenzo is off on a world tour at the moment. It's good to let your children go off and broaden their horizons while they're young. I have high hopes for him being a very important man in the future. Alright. Thanks. We actually hate your son because he's kind of a tool. It's the diary of the mansion's owner. Lorenzo is telling everyone he wants to set out on a journey to broaden his horizons. It's painfully obvious that it's just a convenient excuse to get out of his duties at the castle. Then again, he says he plans to stop by Alexandria to see his fiance. so how could I say no? It remains my fervent hope that his association with Jessica will knock some sense into that thick skull of his. I wouldn't count on it. Ooh, magic water. We like magic water. Magic water is good. And it's an empty balcony. <sighs> like, I get it for the realism, but don't let me go out there if you're not going to at least put something for me to smash. Okay, came from that way, so what's over here? Pots. Barrels. They were barrels, not pots. We had this conversation earlier, didn't we? Okay, nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Nothing there. Okay. Looted at this house. Wait, there's a door here? Did we see this door? Oh, yes, we walked right past it. <laughs> I was distracted by the pot barrels. Okay, let's go across the street. See, Argonia is tricky because they hide these barrels everywhere and you have to like hunt them down and we haven't even been in the castle yet and the castle's freaking huge of you. <laughs> no, I won't take that pun back. Found a turban. I must have already had a turban. We did already have a turban. Okay, cool. We've got we've garnered a delete a decent collection of mini metals. We're gonna need to turn them in soon. Probably after we're done in Argonia. Maybe before we're done in Argonia. After we're done looting Argonia, how about that? Cabinet inspection. Dang. 
Ooh, stairs. Ooh, cabinets. Okay. Kind of useless, but I get it. These people have so much empty space in their houses, it's weird. Like, those two beds were right next to each other, and then there was all that empty space beside them. church okay well is there anything to loot in the church nope pretty church though although it's a little weird to have a church that's got a pond in it that's wild enough to have uh lily pads Which reminds me of a video I watched recently of a woman trying to step onto a lily pad and just falling straight through because that's not how lily pads work! <laughs> Except in video games, where they are absolutely something you can jump onto. Nope, 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 alright. <laughs> There's an organ in here. How is this not the church? Very confused. Okay, well, whatever. Inspect your cabinets. Okay, more useless items. Did you know about the wasteland across the sea to the northwest of here? Nobody lives there. People say that the shrine in the middle of it is filled with the darkest powers in the world. It's a place everyone's been going to for years to perform dark rites, apparently. Well, the kind of people who go in for that sort of thing, I mean. Are you one of those people? You do dress kind of like a jester. Whoop. How did I, like, go through the door and then... Well, whatever. There's nothing up here anyway. Just this creepy dude. Sounds like our snakeskin whip is done. Dang it, that's the monster team! <laughs> there we go. Alchemy pot. <laughs> no, but it's not a church. It just... You know, have we done three of these yet? Can you do three? I don't remember. Yes, apparently. You can do three. All right. That's a, that's a start. We can do that. Oop. All right. On to the castle. Yes. Okay. Thanks. That was weird awkward pardon me while I loot your whole house of course there's nothing to loot in this room that's probably where they keep people waiting while they're uh, waiting to see the king training room I guess Can't hide your barrels from me forever. Gimme your barrel. Gimme, gimme. Knight's quarters. Mini metal. I think that goes out. Does this go out? Yup, sure does. Okay, back in. what I get for not trusting my instincts. 
Y'all, I had a map this whole time? My lord. Okay. I don't know when I got a map of Argonia Castle, but here we are. Okay, I guess uh, we go up the big stairway in the middle. Up the big stairs. Red carpet probably takes us to see the king. We're not ready to see the king yet. We haven't finished looting his house. Okay, so there's a... Over here. This is some kind of royalty's bedroom. Mini metal. Pots for smashing, smashing the pots. If I recall, and I'm pretty sure I do, yeah, okay, that goes down into the armory, which is locked behind a door, not the armory, the treasure room, one of the treasure rooms, like a secret treasure room, but it's, it's locked, so can't go that way. don't believe you're members of the castle staff. How dare you enter the room of a royal prince without permission? Do you not realize who I am? Honestly, what a nerve! I could call the guards in an instant, you know. If you don't want to be manhandled by them, then I suggest you leave immediately. Okay, well, we know who he is. Just want to check out your bookshelf, man. It's a magazine called Big Boy Wonderland. Think you're a big boy? There's a secret club out there, and it may be just what you're looking for. We can't reveal the exact location here, but believe us, it's well worth the trip. If you happen to find it, make sure to ask for Puffy. She's dynamite with a short fuse. Arrgh. Just lie back and let her work her magic. Believe us, you've never felt a pair like hers before. Oh yes. Snuggling between them is like paradise on earth. You won't want to leave. I'm gonna go wash my hands and throw up and then wash my hands again. BRB. Yikes. Not, uh, not ideal royalty, is he? Here we haven't been in yet. <laughs> Inspect your cabinets. No, nothing. Nothing is smashed. Okay. All right. There was a set of stairs, wasn't there? Let's take the stairs. Oh, the stairs. Okay. Guess we're not going in there. Does that door go somewhere interesting? Uh, maybe. Nope! That door was a lie. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna go up those other stairs. Where'd they go? Where'd they go? There they are. Ooh, elfin elixir. That's nice. Restores all of your magic at once.
Whoa. Uh, okay, not a fan of that. Dizzy, actually. Okay, nothing interesting up here. Maybe the guard has something interesting to say? I love being a guard. It's great fun and the view is amazing. The only drawback is that it can get a bit chilly out here in the wind. Really? Why did I walk all the way up here? Walked up here for nothing. What was the point of that? There was no point. It's because it's a round room. There's no point. Alright, where am I? Over here. What's in here? Ding! Something else is done. Dang it! That's the monster team! <laughs> Every single time, y'all. Every time. Ooh, rose root. Wasn't there something with three moonwort bulbs as well? Let's do those next. All right, check out your bookshelves. It appears to be the diary of a female royal official. Of course, I never go anywhere without wearing my scholar's specs. They're simply perfect for an uncommonly quick-witted girl like me. But my hat, oh, it's a disaster. So hideously uncultured. Only I had a hat that reflected my superior intelligence as well as my spectacles do. I suspect that I could combine the sp scholar specs with a hat to make the perfect piece of headwear, but I simply couldn't bear to sacrifice them. What to do, what to do. I lie awake at night fretting about it. You know, it isn't easy being a beautiful genius. Alright. Well then. Hmm, a magic mirror. Yes, I have a feeling there's something like that among the royal treasures, but I can't be sure. Even if it is here in Argonia, you'll need the king's permission if you want to borrow it or even lay eyes on it. Yeah, I'm noticing that trend. This is an empty round room. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay, not that empty then. Cloak of Evasion. And there's a hole. And no. Not yet. We'll come back to that. Um, there's a staircase here somewhere. Right? This way. This way. Alright, y'all. I think we've put it off long enough. We gotta go talk to the king. Right? Is it over here? That way? Yes. Yes, we've been over. We've been in here. Yeah, we've been in here. We need to go down one more level. Yep, here we go. Okay. Alright, time to go see His Majesty. Your Majesty, are you feeling poorly? Did those travelers cause you some trouble? No, no, I'm fine. One of them reminded me of someone. 
but I must be mistaken. The magic mirror? But it's a precious royal heirloom. Why on earth do you require it? Explain yourself. Well, see, there's this guy, and he murdered, like, a whole bunch of people. And we're just trying to bring him to justice, but he's hiding in this place that we can't get to without the magic mirror. And so we just thought maybe you were a fan of justice. Hmm. I understand. However, as I have said, the magic mirror is a treasure of the royal family. I cannot simply give it to you. But... Justice. I knew he'd say no. C'est la vie, I suppose. It was a lot to ask. So now what? How are we going to avenge my brother's death without that mirror? Hmm. If what you say is true, you must have survived a great many ordeals on your travels. That means your fighting skills must be on a par with those of my soldiers. But, Your Majesty, you can't possibly plan to use those travelers instead of royal guardsmen. Well surmised, Chancellor. Listen to me carefully. I rule with a fair hand, but I cannot grant every request that is made of me. However, if the royal family owes someone a debt of gratitude, I consider it my duty to fulfill it. You need the magic mirror. Then accept my request. If you complete the task I set forth for you, you may have the mirror. Summon the prince! At once, Your Majesty. The request concerns my son, Prince Charles. To become king of Argonia, one must undertake a special initiation ceremony. There is some risk to life and limb, and the prince is unwilling to do it. As a father, the thought of putting my own son in danger pains me. But he must pass the initiation if he is to succeed me to the throne. It is the tradition of our kingdom. I was considering sending a detail of royal soldiers to protect him during the rite. However, I fear it will ruin his reputation. So my request is this. You outsiders will accompany my son to the royal hunting ground. Naturally, this would remain completely confidential. It is vital that everyone believes my son passed the initiation on his own. Your, your, your Majesty, Prince Charles is... What is it this time? The Prince has run off again. I'm extremely sorry, Your Majesty. This is all my fault. I'll bring Prince Charles to Your Majesty as soon as we can find him. As your humble and faithful servant, I beg. You incompetent fool! Please pardon my outburst. But we cannot continue this discussion without my son. I don't know how to tell you this, Clavius, but I'm pretty sure your son is a huge fucking tool. All right. Well, because things don't get done unless we did them, we gotta go did a thing. So, Charmels is hiding out in the room below this one. And also, he's deathly afraid of lizards. 
So, you know what we got? We got Munchie on a mission. Oh look, there's a hole. There's a lizard. Munchie, let's see if we can't get that lizard into that hole. It's like playing lizard golf. Go that way, bud. Hmm? Is there something on my head? What's it doing here? Get it out! Get it out! All right. Simple geometry. <laughs> ah, I love Munchie. He's so cute. His little, his little lion tail. All right. This episode of Scared Straight brought to you by Munchie. Did he come out? Sure did. All right. Soldiers took Prince Charmels down to the throne room. He looked a bit green in the face, I can tell you. He really looked defeated this time. Yeah, well, that's because he sucks. Alright. Talk to me, Clavius. Ah, perfect timing. Allow me to introduce my son. This is Prince Charmels, the future King of Argonia. What is all this, father? Why are you wasting my time with this whiff-waff? They're going to protect you during the initiation. They will need to know who you are. Initiation? Who said anything about the initiation? I don't recall agreeing to that. I hate lizards. How many times do I have to tell you? Listen carefully, Charmers. Enough is enough. I am aware of your aversion to the initiation, but it remains your duty to complete it. You won't be able to marry Princess Medea until you prove your worth. Well, I don't care about getting married anyway. You're making a mistake, Charmels. I hear Princess Medea is... well... Va! Va! Boom! You understand what I'm saying? Wow! Now, have you reconsidered? <sighs> you can leave me out of this, thank you. Uh, ahem. Anyway, my son, do you realize what people say about you behind your back? This is your chance to prove yourself, to show the world you are a man. These people can assure your safety. Well, Charmels, do you accept? Uh, yes. Wait, no. I mean, oh, I don't know. I heard a yes. That's my prince. I'll ensure that everyone believes you're doing it on your own. You will leave now. Hide yourself in the wagon at the city gates and await your bodyguards. Right now? Chancellor, accompany Charmels to the gate. The prince is leaving for his initiation. Summon the royal guards. The prince must have a fittingly ostentatious send-off. Remember, 
He is leaving on his own. Uh, it shall be as you wish, your majesty. But wait! I'm not ready yet! Off at last. I wish you luck. And remember, your mission is top secret. Charmels will explain the details of the initiation himself. Fulfill my request, and you have my word that the magic mirror shall be yours. All right. Oh, Prince Charmels is completely freaking useless, but doesn't matter. He's what we got. We got to deal with it. Really wish we had a sword upgrade for a hero right about now. Because that's what I really need. That's what I need in my life. swords, do you? Nope, you sure don't. I mean, the spear's not bad, but it's not what I want. <laughs> I want a sword. <sighs> we might have to do some uh, quick shopping, but first, I guess we'll rendezvous with the prince. small for me. Maybe I could stretch my legs if you got rid of that worthless pot. Good grief! What's that? What kind of people are you traveling with a freak like that? Here, Grandad. You'd have bitten my head off if I said something like that. I'm a king, you half-witted twerp. Come a little closer. Look at us. Don't you see? We can't tell him his fiance has turned into a horse. Much better to keep the truth a secret for now. Make sure everyone knows to keep it under their hats. A Prince Charmless! What is our destination? It's Charmley, you clot. Just head east. Eventually we'll come to the royal hunting ground. That's where the initiations take place. Oh, and before I forget... This file contains a powder that masks human scent. You must sprinkle it on yourselves before we enter the royal hunting ground. Argon lizards are very sensitive to smell. If they get wind of our unmasked scent, they'll run away. In other words, we've got to smell like lizards to fight lizards. I'm supposed to be doing this by myself, so I shall be staying in the wagon until we arrive. I'll alight upon arrival, and we shall then proceed on foot. Now get a move on, you lazy rascals! Woof! All right. Well, first... <laughs> Let's see. Mm, did Savella have a sword? Did Neos have a sword? Let's try Savella first. We we really need a sword upgrade for Hero. The uh, copper sword from the first dungeon of the game is probably not great at this point, hey? Alright, here's the weapon guy. Talk to me, bud. Oh, 
He does have a sword, but it's only a sword for Angelo. Which is not what I want. Okay. Let's try Neos. Yeah, that'll do. Nope. That's it. Thanks, pal. Argonia. <laughs> I guess he, if the merchant did have two sets of abs, that's the like the strong guy look. How will you know he's strong if he doesn't have abs on his abs? <laughs> All right, quick boomerang for now. Like, the people in this game are either, like, attractively people shape or wickedly unattractive caricatures of a people shape. Like, the, la the women are all, like, traditional lady shape or short, stubby lady shape. And like, those are your only two choices. All right. Royal hunting grounds this way, so that's where we're going. Oh, I heard the ding though. of evasion plus boxer shorts? Is it recipe? Yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. Dog. Oh. Worth it. That's just rude.
Man, I hate to think about making this walk, like, on foot. So much better on a cat. Charmless. I mean, Prince Charmles. <laughs> I suppose you must be here for the initiation, then. Indeed I am, you uneducated bumpkin. Oh! <laughs> and who's this with you, eh? Last I heard, you royals had to go in alone. They merely accompanied me here. They shall be... Uh, accompanying me on the way home as well. I've instructed them to await my return just inside the Royal Hunting Ground. Oh, right you are. Well, I hope you have a good hunt then. I gotta be... Oh no, you can't go like that. Huh? You won't get no argon art smelling like that, your highness. You wanna cover that up with some of it. <laughs> okay. Thanks for the advice. I'm going to loot your house now. <laughs> Boink. Boink. Fancy you finding your way out here to the back of beyond. If you be needing a rest, why don't you stop for 40 winks here? Don't worry, love. I won't be asking for no money. Oh, lovely. You have yourself a nice rest, then. Look at you all glowing and healthy, young'un. Just what I like to see. Come back any time if you be feeling a bit tired, all right? It's been the duty of our family for generations to make sure the Argon Lizards in the Royal Hunting Ground don't go dying out. The Royal Family of Argonia would be in a terrible picky pickle if they didn't have no lizards. They wouldn't be able to do that initiation of theirs. Boop. Captain inspection. Nothing. How about this? How about this cabinet? How about this cabinet? Really? Nothing? Thanks for putting me up for the night. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do... ...is use this. And now we smell like lizards. In we go. with our lizard smelling selves. There's a lizard right frickin' there. And I don't know if you've ever been lizard hunting, but my experience with lizards is gotta sneak up on them. They don't notice our presence. We smell like lizards. Jackal Ripper. <laughs> and yes, that is like Jack the Ripper. But it, it looks like Wolverine, which is weird. Is where I would have put a tre treasure chest. One up here? Aha! There is one up here. Ooh, 
big boy is still down here? Yes, he is. Some pretty decent experience out here. Lizard draws near. And this is why we wanted the upgrade. Because we have a dragon slash ability. And they're kind of considered dragons. So. Aw, <laughs> look at him. He's trying. That's what he dodged. Fucking lizard. Yeah, get him, Yangus. What? Oh, this bugger's dainty. Look at him with his little dodging and shit. Charmels, God, you're so useless. Does no damage, immediately runs away. There we go, we got him. So, this is an Argon Heart, but it's so small. Looks like the Argon Lizards aren't anything to worry about after all. We'll have to keep hunting lizards until we find one big enough to do justice to my heroism. This from a guy who runs at the slightest hint of danger. Don't make me laugh. I mean, he is basically useless. No map for this place. Okay. Well. I wonder if most animals in this world are red, green, colorblind. 
would account for the Argon Lizards being bright frickin' red in this green setup. Welcome to the stream. We're currently hunting lizards. Big ones. Whoa. Wow. Walking in a straight line is much harder than it ought to be. Well, well. A salamango, eh? The Chancellor said that Argon Lizards absolutely adore these. A sleeping lizard will wake up at the slightest whiff of one, apparently. I suppose that's proof enough. Alright, well. Can we, can we just appreciate the way I walk with this? Look at it. Look at it. <laughs> oh no! I ran in circles too much. I just like the waddle gets me. I get I like the waddle. Ow. Also ow. Well they're fluffy because they're orc kings. I guess. I don't know. They're Dragon Quest orcs, which is not to be confused with Middle Earth orcs, which are a completely unrelated thing. Same name, but functionally different. Alright, we're gonna waddle across the bridge. Wow, we're actually slower than Charmels with this thing. Um... Bam. Cool. Now fight me. Sword back on. <laughs> Completely misses. Like, it's like a huge enemy, and it didn't even dodge him, but he still missed. Jessica brought the whip. And he runs away. Of course he ran away. Because he's useless. Oh, no, that's not good. This got real Jurassic Park all of a sudden. Oh yeah, take him down. No, this is no good either. We need to find a bigger one. The only way I'll get the respect I deserve is by returning with the biggest Argon Heart the world has ever seen. So, we're going to keep going until we find one big enough to take back. Do I make myself clear? I mean, it's clear that I hate you, so there's that, I guess. Poor Medea. This guy is a tool. Right. That's the way we came from. That was a dead end with 
the waddle fruit. So I guess we're going this way. I know he called it a salamango, but I'm going to call it a waddle fruit. <laughs> Also identify as a waddle fruit, so I feel you there, Capybara. <laughs> That's what we'll name our next monster team. We'll name them the Waddle Fruits. Nope, there's nothing up here? Nothing up here. Okay, cool. Good talk. Good talk. Glad I walked all the way up there. Fries are done. What did I make? I forgot what this recipe was for. Ooh, Robe of Serenity. All right. Time to make more cheese, though. Yes, please. Nope, no lizards. Okay. Where did all the lizards go? Surely Charmels didn't scare them off. He's useless. Magic beast hides. Now this is an order. Lure that lizard out for me immediately. But I don't wanna, cause you suck. I know, he's just a sleepy boy. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Come on waddle fruit, we gotta waddle this way. Waddle, 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 yeah.
no damage. Because he's functionally useless. Oh, he dodged! Charmels ever makes it through more than one round of battle. Or he pieces out like the trash that he is. impress father or anyone else for that matter i like that you can see the lizards like running away after the battle which means that like we didn't kill them so this isn't this it's not animal cruelty it's just the triumph of man over nature and then nature goes back to doing its thing because otherwise oh man i would have to punch charmels in his fat freaking face if only there were some more Argon lizards, then we could fight them all and see if we got a bigger one. But those bothersome lizards keep running away and hiding when they see me coming. I'm just too intimidating for my own good. <laughs> You're really confused about what intimidating looks like. Someone's pleased with himself. How much longer have we got to babysit this sissy? Anyway, I'm hungry now. Servants! The day's hunt is over. Find level ground and prepare a campsite for my night's repose. We're, we're not your servants. You know that, right? Like, I don't owe you nothing. Well, at least we'll heal. That does not sound good. Come on, giddy up. Do as I say. Giddy up. Go. Listen to me, you stupid beast. Prince, please restrain yourself. Medea is, I mean, my horse isn't accustomed to being ridden. Come on now. Down from my horse at once, you fat oaf. Shut up. I'll show you how to break in a horse. Stupid animal. Maybe a little pain will teach you. Calm down. Stop bucking. Stop. I'm going to fall. That's the idea. I'll whip some manners into you. You stubborn beast! You should be honored to have a taste of my crop! I'll teach you some proper respect for your wider! That's my horse! Stop this at once! I simply cannot allow you to harass her any further! If you must strike something, strike me instead! So, the horse is that important to you? Fine! Your wish is granted! Prepare to accept her punishment. Oi, Gav! <laughs> we got one! We got one! Uh, uh, I was picking me no... Uh, I mean, I was picking me some flowers when I saw it. A blooming giant. One, one of them lizards. Did you hear that? It's the cry of an Argon lizard. Forget the stupid horse. We've got to catch that lizard. <laughs> I love how Yangus just like casually reveals <laughs> that he was picking his nose. <laughs> All right, where is it? 
Oh, there he is. He's a big boy, too. Look at him. Hi, big boy. Are you gonna run away? Oh, oh. Nope. I'm not here. Don't. You don't see me. Nope. Mm mm. But walking in circles. Don't, I'm not. I'm not here. I'm not here. You're not intimidated by me. Don't run away. Nope. Not here. See. I take it back. I'm here. I'm here. Fight me. Ah! whole ground shakes when it moves. <laughs> okay. I know. Useless bastard. Yikes. That hurt. And this dude got a lot of health. There he goes. This is it. This is exactly what I needed. This will show father and his servants. I can just see their faces now. Oh, Chablis, how wonderful. What a hero you are. They better. After all, I went through to get it. Savants, back to the castle. Man, F this guy. He sucks so hard. All right. Back to the castle it is. Last, it feels like a lifetime since we left on our epic journey. It's been like ten minutes, brah. What's this? The flags are up. Oh, the bazaar is on. It must have started while we were away. I'm going to do a little shopping before I go back to the castle. Dismissed. All right, is it just me or does anybody else just like really hate that guy? <laughs> but now there's all kinds of shops here, which is cool. In case we need more crap, which honestly right now, not super in need of this crap. I do wish this had been opened before but it wasn't, so here we are. Oh, that's the boomerang I want. I want the precious. I want this 
boomerang. I want it. Let's see. What can we sell? <laughs> Those can't be sold. I can't sell that. Oh, I forgot to put that on someone. Wow, I'm real pretty. Uh, I do not need that copper sword. That's true. I might want the moon's mercy. Oh, we don't sell saint's ashes here. Okay, we can actually sell both of these iron axes because I'm pretty sure I don't need them for anything. And did that give me enough? That gave me enough. Sweet, give me that boomerang. Yes. Nope. No, we're good for now. I literally, I just wanted the boomerang. Yes, please. All right. What else we got here? What are you selling? Oh, cooking spices. Okay. Well, I don't need cooking spices. Or, or are you the armory guy? Yeah. Oh, I can't afford any of these things. Holy crap. That's some expensive stuff. Well. Not buying that, that's for sure. Okay, well, moving on with my life, I guess. What are you up to? Well, these prices are highway robbery. No thank you. Charmos, what are you doing? There you are, and you've arrived just in time. Without further ado, allow me to present my new Argon Heart. The biggest you ever saw. I mean, you've seen a real Argon Heart for yourselves. You can tell this is no fake. I suppose you're wondering where I acquired it. Well, as luck would have it, one of the peddlers was selling one. Service is our motto. <laughs> we got another if you got the money. Another? One is quite enough. Anyway, you can keep the Argon Heart from the Royal Hunting Ground for yourselves. I'm going to take this one back to the castle. Uh, you'll stay quiet about this, of course. And once the bazaar moves on, I won't need to worry about that peddler telling anyone. It's a flawless plan. <laughs> well, this is farewell. I'm off to the castle. Drop by sometime if you'd like to see the adoration on my subjects' faces firsthand. Ta-ta! What have you done? Uh, if you noticed, we actually could see the king standing on that corner through that whole cutscene. <laughs> He's just hanging out, just being the king. Oh, no, I need to get across the river. There we go. Ha! This is where I can buy the stuff to make cheese. Yay! Okay. Uh, we have ten milks, so we need eight powders. That goes to the bag. Thank you. And then I would like to buy your mo Oh, wait. I need... I want to buy more than that. Into the bag. You know what? That's ridiculous. The red mold sells for less. It requires less of it to get the super spicy cheese. And yet, the super spicy cheese sells for more than the cold cheese. It's a racket! Okay, anyway. It's not that important. Just an observation. But yeah, this dude does have like... 
Okay, now that I'm really looking at him, he does, in fact, look like corn on the cob. Because he's got, like, three distinct sets of abs. One in the middle, and two on either side. That's more abs than anyone has any right to need. You don't need that many abs. <laughs> Thank you, Fruity Capybara, for pointing this out to us all. We didn't know we needed to know that, but we did need to know that. Holy crap. So many, so many abs. Okay, we're gonna do cheese. Prince Charmels, please show us the Argon Heart you obtained. Why, it's enormous! I've never seen such a big Argon Heart before. It must be the biggest in the history of the initiation. He must have slain quite an Argon Lizard to get a heart of that size. Prince Charmels, present the Argon Heart, symbol of your bravery and worthiness to King Clavius. No. Wait. Charmels, do you swear before the Almighty Goddess that you obtained this Argon Heart from an Argon Lizard slain by your own hand? Uh, of course, Father. Because even if, for example, you were assisted by others in battle, I would still recognize your claim to the throne. But if you obtained it by any other means, I could not recognize your right to the throne. Is that perfectly clear? Yes, of course. I fought the lizard with my own hands, and a frightful beast it was, too. Very well. Then I congratulate you. I accept this Argon Heart as proof of your true character. AKA, you are such a disappointment, bruh. I saw my son take an Argon Heart from one of the merchants. Did you even take him to the Royal Hunting Ground? I saw everything from up here. You must tell me the truth. Out with it! I see. So this is the Argon Heart he obtained with your help. Why didn't he simply show it to me? I would not have cared about the size. I mean, that's what we all say. I fear this means Charmels is far too immature to take the throne. Or a wife. However, that is a matter between Charmels and myself. You did a fine job in taking him to the royal hunting ground. The magic mirror is in the royal vault 
on the fourth floor. You are free to take it whenever you wish. I have already instructed the guards to admit you. And I will take this Argon Heart. It might prove useful when I need to remind Charmels of his foolhardiness. Can we also talk about how it never once occurred to Charmels that we would tell the king the truth? Like, he was so worried about that merchant being gone and not telling people that he bought one, but he didn't seem to care about us. Like, dude's trash, man. <laughs> oh, this isn't where I wanted to go, is it? Nope, it's not back down one more level. I need to go outside and across. So, this way. There we go. Hey, 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 that looks like a magic mirror to me. Shouldn't have let me have unfettered access to your safe. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we need to go see Princess Minnie. Devil's Tale. Battle Fork. A magical hat. Hey. Brought the magic mirror, if I'm not mistaken. May I have a look? Hmm, that's odd. I don't sense any magic at all. Say what? Bereft of its magic power, it's no different from a normal, everyday mirror. Well, that's trash. Could someone have snuck in and tampered with the mirror while it slumbered in the royal vault? No, surely not. Nevertheless, even without its magic, the mirror remains a priceless royal treasure. What's that? The magical power of the mirror is central to your errand, you say? Yeah, it's kind of important, bruh. I see, I see. Let me think. The mirror itself does not appear to be damaged. In which case, you should be able to recharge the mirror, so to speak, by exposing it to the right kind of magic. That would restore its former power. The man who taught me was a wizard and an expert in magical treasures. I'm sure he would know how to re-energize the mirror. Unfortunately, he is retired. Now he spends his days in seclusion in his home deep in the western forest. Okay, well, we know that guy. We're old friends. Can I... Darn. It would have been so much easier to get out of here if I could just, like, teleport out. <laughs> but no, it's fine. Cool. We'll go the long way, I guess. Actually, apparently I went the long way the first time. Whoops. Just a freaking maze. Oh, it's you! Didn't we meet before at the Dark Ruins? We came here to see if King Clavius would lend us one of the royal treasures, but we're not having any luck. I never imagined we wouldn't even be able to make it past the door. 
Well, about that, actually. You want to team up? Yeah? No? Okay, cool. Good, good talk. Good talk. All right, so we need to go see the magic dude. So, let's see. Where's that? The mystical spring. Here we go. And maybe while we're at the spring, we'll uh, see if Medea's got anything to say about her fiancé. Because, man, that guy is trash, right? I've been thinking a lot about Prince Charmless. I mean, Charmles. He isn't anything like I imagined. What am I going to do? I must respect my grandmother's wishes. But do you think people can change after they get married? I know, I know. I could also be quite self-centered when I was younger. Perhaps Prince Charmless will grow out of it too. Well, I don't know. I don't think you can count on it, because, uh... Bless Clavius, he's uh, not doing a great job with Charmels, eh? If it isn't the people I met at the spring. Well, well. Ah, ah, ah. Well. Ah. Ah. Let me see. Uh, um, can I help you with something? Yes, please. What? But the magic mirror is a royal heirloom. And you say King Clavius gave it to you? Oh. Well, well. <laughs> Let me examine it, then. Yes, this is it. The sun mirror. Ah, ah, a quite unmistakable feel it has. I'll never forget the first time I touched it in Argonia. But, oh, yes, that's curious. It's, um, it's lost all of its magic. Oh, dear. I'm not being very clear, am I? You see, this mirror that you call the magic mirror is really called the sun mirror. But now that all its magic has been lost, you can't very well call it a magic mirror anymore. There was a bloke in a castle who said the same thing. That's why we're here to see you. Thought you could give us some assistation. Uh, a way to get magic back into the mirror. Uh, I remember hearing long ago about a spell of blinding light that was cast on the sun mirror. That's what gave it such tremendous brilliance. If the mirror has lost that magic now, um, uh, perhaps casting the same spell could restore its magical properties. The problem is, I 
can't remember what the spell was. Uh, a spell that casts a blinding light. Uh, oh, what a conundrum. Um... Ah, of course. The Sea Dragon spell. Just north of this land, you will find a stone arch bridging the straits. A sailor once told me of a giant sea dragon in the waters there. He said it cast a spell on him that left him blinded for a few moments. I suppose it's possible a, a bright light such as that could restore the magic to the mirror. You never know, it might just work. Try using the mirror to reflect the sea dragon spell. Aha! Good luck. What other goodies did we get? An enormous fork that looks as if it belongs on a giant's dinner table. Alright. Well, that's probably an improvement to the iron lance, so I guess we'll hang on to that. Oh yeah, who can wear that? Really? Well, shoot, dog. Alright. Okay, so we have a couple of stops to make now. We need to go back to Princess Minnie's castle. That's going to be stop number one. Where's she at? There she is. See what kind of goodies we can get from her. And then from her, we're going to sail over to that land bridge that connects the bottom half of the western continent to the northern half. And, um... See if we can't restore the power of the mirror. Ooh, 49. Yay. Ooh, delightful. Ooh, a gold nugget for 52 mini metals. Okay, well, we'll keep that in mind. Nope, not a security threat. I mean, she's literally only the princess of mini metals and this like tiny little island. So like, yeah, I guess she probably doesn't think that we're anything to be concerned about. Yeah, see, not an upgrade, just not, not an upgrade. All right. Okay. We are going to take one more short break. So, BRB, my friends. I will be right back. I am human after all, and we have been doing this for a while. <laughs>
All right, my friends, I have returned. We are good to go. Hope you didn't miss me too bad. I wasn't gone very long. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna go do is... Oh, I forgot to check the alchemy pot. That's what I should have done next. It's okay, we'll do that after this fight. So we're gonna check the alchemy pot and then we have to go restore the magic to the mirror. And then once we've done that, we're ready to head in to the Northwest Ruins to find Dual Magus. And... Seriously? Seriously? Are you freaking kidding me right now? Oh my god. That's very, very irritating. Okay. Damn it. See, this is why Jessica needs Kazing. was garbage oh my god was that garbage oh will that not cast zing i guess not there we go there we go okay woof man i hate those instant death spells I've never had one that killed two at once, though. Like, that's insane. Holy crap. Y'all, I'm really glad that I did all that leveling the other day, but now I'm worried that I didn't do enough. <laughs> well, we'll find out when we get to the, the Northwest Isle again. Moving on with our lives. Oh, I forgot to check the alchemy pot. That's what I needed to do. Oop, oop. strong cheese. We like that shit. Should have made more of that sooner. Oh well.
Wait, but I held up the mirror. There we go. Okay, good. <laughs> I thought the mirror would, like, protect me somehow. Clearly I was wrong. we have the sun mirror we're going to hit up sea view church to rest to save and then we are going to the northwest isle to the ruins again um and for those of you who have been with me all afternoon thank you uh this next bit that we're gonna do is probably gonna wrap up the stream we are going to do this this dungeon here um and at the end of the dungeon, we'll probably be wrapping up the stream after the dungeon is done. So. Yeah. Is that you? Is it really you? What do you think it means, us meeting like this? It was late and I was thinking about wanting to talk to you. But I must have fallen asleep. Are we dreaming? We must be. Do you think this is another effect of the spring water? I really wanted to talk to you about Prince Charmless. I mean, Charmles. Do you think people can change after they get married? I know, I know. I could also be quite self-centered when I was younger. Perhaps Prince Charmles will grow out of it too. Yeah, that's another new thing. Um, if you don't have the time or the inclination to go to the mystical spring to talk to Medea occasionally, she will appear to you when you rest at inns, which is kind of cool. to the dark ruins. You think you can penetrate the dark aura? I've already told you that's quite impossible without the magic mirror. Well, guess what I got, bruh? Dark Aura! It's disappeared! So you managed to get the Royal Argonian Mirror! I don't know how you got hold of it, 
But now we can finally get inside and fight Dulmagus. Well done! Right. Ah. Uh, well then. I'll just go and fetch my men. At last. At last we can finish off that despicable Dulmagus. Go, blimey! <laughs> yes. We've been traveling for a long while now. Looking back on all the hard times, I feel strangely nostalgic. But this is no time for reminiscing, you dawdler. This is our chance. Apparently, Dulmagus is a bit under the weather at the moment. We must give him a good thrashing and lift this diabolical curse. We'll be waiting here. I'm sure you won't have any trouble. Thanks for your support, King Trode. Okay, so now it's time for creepy dungeon. And genuinely, genuinely creepy. Oh, oh. The aura of darkness is no more. The legacy of so many years destroyed. The shrine was built in anticipation of the revival of our beloved leader, Rapthorn. The aura of darkness was its protection from the evil heretics. The infidels have broken through the dark aura. They must be preparing to attack us. Guess what? That's me. I'm the infidel. Okay. I don't know who this Rapthorn person is, but, you know. That is a lot of mummies. Holy crap. Okay. <laughs> Man, I wish Angelo had a uh, attack everything at once spell, but he really doesn't, so... I gotta say, I don't like this dungeon because I genuinely find it creepy. Um, because it just gets creepier the deeper we go. Um, creepy to the point that uh, if I'm ever playing this game like totally by myself, as in I don't have friends or family hanging out with me, uh, I don't play this dungeon at night. <laughs> because... It is creepy with all of its like weird gargoyles and like bad guys. Like the monsters in here are also creepy looking. And just like, I don't know, man, it's a bad time. It's a bad time and I don't like it. Okay. But the good news is we have a map. Oh god, I hate these things. They're so ugly. Uh. Got so many teeth. Do not fall asleep.
It dodged. That's some hot pole shit. That's what that is. Unsettling figures. Not a fan. I don't do spooky, y'all. Anybody that knows me personally knows that I do not play horror games. Not, not my bag. Uh, I like cute, spooky Halloween. I don't go in for like genuinely horrifying Halloween. Not. Not here for that. I don't watch scary movies. And I I hate this scary dungeon. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it very much. But I know what happens. And so I know that it's okay. That I'll be okay. But that doesn't mean I have to like doing it again. <laughs> I mean, like, what it, the frick is that? I don't, like, get out of here. What are you? Ugh. Ugh. This feels so unclean. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Okay. It's fine. He is not going to get me. You get out of here, Capybara. <laughs> think you're clever with your... Incidental terror. There we go, now they're all done. So, my hope is that we will level up one more time while we're here in this dungeon, like before we get to the end of it. Um, obviously, I, I'm not going to count on that, and I, I think level 32 should be sufficient to finish everything that this dungeon has to offer us. Um, I think. Solid solid think. But the good news is we don't have a lot of gold to lose, even if we should die. We've only got like a thousand. So not overly concerned about that part of it. Um, normally before I took on this dungeon I would have gone and like spent three hours grinding gold golems for money, bought all of the best possible gear, made all of the highest possible alchemy things that I could make, um, but that's not as entertaining for y'all to watch and also is probably not totally necessary. I'm just, like I said, overly cautious, I guess, is the phrasing I want to use. Um, I just like to be as prepared as possible. We're maybe not as prepared as I would ideally like to be, but I think we can still do it. it. 
For the first time in what seems like an eternity, I felt the power of Rapthorn near me. But my lack of physical form prevents me from seeing the Lord of Darkness. Could it really have been him? Could he have returned to us? I don't know, but I hope not. Okay. What is this? Oh, puzzle room. Okay. nice, but I can't do anything about it. Because we do not have access to the alchemy pot right now. And to get access, we'd have to go all the way out and come all the way back. Which, don't know about you, I don't really want to do right now. I feel like these are the ones that are immune to wind. We'll find out. I wish you could just... Ouch. Oh, that could have been worse. Not totally immune to wind, then. I would like them to stop doing that, though. Take free magic water. Okay, that put up that one. Oh, we gotta go all the way back to get this, this treasure chest. It's a good treasure chest. treasure chests. Okay, that's worth the walk then. Also, somehow we didn't encounter any enemies on that walk? Which is super weird. Okay, a mini metal and a dragon scale. Dragon scales are good, because now we actually have two of them, and we could make that upgraded whip for Jessica. Uh, but again, that would require us to leave and then come back. know that we've got the need to do that. I do not like these phantom swordsmen. Let's see how Zap handles them. And see what Swoosh does.
There we go. Take them all out in one round instead of getting lightninged to death four times. done this puzzle too many times. <laughs> I didn't even think about it. I just went to the... I just did it in the right order. That was Jessica's way of saying, in your dreams, pal. Don't like the music. Don't like it. Not a fan. Make sure there's nothing over there. And indeed, there's nothing over there. Don't got to be afraid. Okay. Dear. Ow. This is rude. There we go. Hey. Back this way. Down here. Hi. 
Behold the mural, O beings of flesh and blood. Behold the magnificent image of Lord Rapthorn locked in his titanic struggle to bring darkness to the world. Long ago, he created the world of darkness by filling the ground with the bodies of those who failed to obey him. And this is a person you, like, willingly follow? I'm a little bit confused, but okay. It's a mimic. Of course it's a frickin' mimic. Okay, it's a dead mimic. And it's a mimic that had an iron nail randomly. Sure, why not? Trying to imagine what an urn of saints' ashes is doing in a place like this. Okay. What you got to say, bud? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Inside lies the holy altar of darkness, the dais built in honor of our great lord. 
Only those who have struck the wings of Imperia, the hateful bird depicted on the wall, are permitted to approach the Lord of Darkness. But we spirits have lost all physical substance. I cannot hope to move the demon statues. What a cruel fate. Okay, so the demon statues are... Okay. Okay. And I guess... Hmm. I guess I need to move these so that they hit the bird. the other one. We should go the other way. Well, it doesn't. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Stand on the thing. There we go. This is some weird magic. Okay. All right. Cool. Um, so good news, bad news. Good news. We get to heal. Bad news. We did not level up. Um... I have no idea how close we were to leveling up, but we did not achieve it. So there's that. Oh my goodness. Okay. We'll take it. <laughs> All right. It's not going to get her what I wanted her to have, but it'll, it'll help. It will help. We might as well go and heal up after that fight. Okay, so let's sort. Yep. Nope. Okay, who is gonna be the most likely to need this? Probably Hero or Angelo. We're gonna give it to Hero. We're going to give bonus ones to Jessica. And Yangus. Yep. Ooh. That is tempting. I can't increase Jessica's staff skill any further. 
than where she currently is. Will it do any good for Angelo? Staves are at 23. What do we need to get him to? Nope, that would not do him any good. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. What about the hero? Oh, would only get him to 96, which is not enough. Oh, but I could get him to 90. Ooh, you know what? We're going to do that. Where'd it go? <laughs> Too many pages. Oh, there it is. Yep. No, are you kidding? Oh. Okay, fine. Fine. Oh my goodness. Okay, fine. So that didn't work out the way we hoped it would. Um, how far off from next level is, is Hero? That's the real question. So he's level 32. So level 33 is 224,000. No, we're way too far off to, to grind that here. That would take way too long. Yes, the music for this dungeon is like very specific and I hate it. <laughs> but that might just be me. Um, whoop. Nope, not done. Okay, items bag. You. Who needs it? What does she have as an accessory right now? Oh, she's got the mighty armlet. That's right. Mm -hmm. We'll get to him. Yeah, you're gonna equip that. Nope, not an upgrade for anybody. She's the only one that can wear that. I also really love this game. I just genuinely, for me, I do not like this dungeon. <laughs> not a fan of this dungeon. Not because it's not a great dungeon, because it is a great dungeon, but because I don't like scary stuff, and this dungeon actually does genuinely, like, give me the creepies. Like, not a fan. Not a fan of the creepies. Woo! Ooh, pardon me. Okay, so we thank you, Keen. Just want to be as prepared as we can be. Chances are really good I won't use most of these. Thank you, AIM. I mean, they're just really good that I won't use most of these items in this battle, but as my mother taught me, it is better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So. Okay, I'm not gonna use the battle fork for this, this fight. doesn't need the antidotal herb because he's got well we'll give him the strong antidote instead of that just in case he like can't cast spells or something and we don't need Balmer's spell for this fight
so. So Yangus had the lowest defense. Do I have a better shield I can give him? No, I don't think so. Yeah, we're literally right before the boss, which is what all the the prep that I'm doing right now is, because literally the boss is in the next room. Um, oh, he's already got one. And he's the only one that can equip it. Of course he is. <sighs> Can't be equipped. Okay, well. Um, is that an upgrade for Yankus? Nope, sure isn't. Okay, well. 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 <laughs> This is, uh, this is where we're at. This is my last resort. Okay. I think that's gonna have to do it. We're gonna equip that bow. But we're gonna hang on to the sword, because we might need the sword. You never know. Yes, Angelo does have multi-healing. So does Edric, as a matter of fact. Um, they both have their multi-heal, and Edric has omni-heal. I was trying to get him the, uh, half magic cost, but we were stymied because you can't, I can't get it to 90 points at level 32. He's gotta be level 33 to hit 90 points. So, we should be fine! I, <laughs> I'm just very nervous! Here we go, y'all. Here we go. Here he is. You ain't gonna slip away this time. Put him up, Don Magus. There's nowhere for you to run now. We've got you cornered. I made a promise to my brother. You'll pay for what you did. Yep, Angelo and Hero both have the ability to heal everyone in the party at once, and they both have the ability to resurrect. Um, and that's that's about as good as we can expect at this point in the game. So here we go. Mm, well, well, what persistent fools coming after me in here? If I'm not mistaken, you're the very same servants of Trode I had the displeasure of meeting at Mayala Abbey. So, you think you can defeat me and lift your master's curse? <laughs> what admirable loyalty. But alas, I am not receiving visitors at present. I'm healing. This magic is so overwhelming that my body can hardly contain it. Such is its power. A small price to pay for obtaining such unimaginable might. Anyway, you won't be staying long, will you? Such a pity. You won't be able to fulfill your master's wish. But at least you shall fulfill your own destiny to die at my hand. Okay, here we go. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know what? We're just gonna... We're just gonna go for it. No, we're gonna save that. We're not gonna use that yet. We're gonna use, we're gonna use these. We're gonna use that, and we're gonna use that. Yeah. 
This ass. <laughs> this asshole right now. Like, for real. we have that for. I don't remember if he's got anything that Insulato would be beneficial for. We're just going to go for it. Super Saiyan, go! It's over 9,000! Yeah, the first person we saw do that was Jessica. And hers is not Super Saiyan-E like Heroes is. So, since there's three of them and we are all the way leveled. We're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to keep Yangus at it for now. And Jessica gets to psych up now. Oh, F you! Oh. No, that's my healer. That's my healer, you tool. <laughs> oh, fine. Edric, you're officially the healer. And we are not wasting our time on that shit. All right. We're not going to waste our time on that either. We got to take we got to start taking him out. Fuck you. Ah, I knew it! I knew it! Well, at least Jessica got hers off before... Before that nonsense happens. Oof, we like Omni Hill. Oh, what spell is... What spell did you notice has a different name? And what is it in German? You know what? No. We're gonna tingle to wake him up. We're gonna do Helm Splitter again. So, when the real one laughs, you can actually hear it. It's the, the doppelgangers when they laugh, it doesn't make any sound. I 
can handle that. That's okay. Yeah, this fight is almost impossible without the ability to heal everybody at once. It doesn't seem to be doing the thing that I want it to do. So, we're going to move on to that one instead. Dang it! Oh, I hoped that would wake him back up. Oh, that did wake him back up. Okay! Ideally, that would have happened after this round of attacks, but that's okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what it sounds like. Damn it. This guy's got a lot of health. All right. We're going to have him Omni heal. Still parallaxing. And Angela will take over. Wake up, girly. We not done here. Seems like only the one of them is capable of casting that spell. Oh, hey, we got one! Yes! That's a good sign. Granted, that's the one we've been focusing this whole time. Oh, on my monster team? They're all big wallopers. They don't have healing spells. Oh, 
I thought his little pick was his book. getting some of that magic back. We're gonna need it still. Yeah, my monster team right now is, I think, Talos, Brickman, and Goldman. No, it's Talos, Brickman, and Axoraptor. So... They do, they do hit for good damage, and I will probably call them in at some point, but they're not one of the teams that can heal me if I die. <laughs> there we go. Okay. You surprise me. I never imagined you could squirm for so long. Had I not been healing, I would have crushed you in an instant. But never mind. It is time we brought this little show to an end. What a pity. What a pity it will be to finally say goodbye. What? Why isn't it working? What kind of trickery is this? Ah, you leave me no choice. Now, you will face my true might! That looks like bad news bears. Oh no, not a fan. Nope. You worthless fools, prepare to be crushed. You will never pester me again. what? Let's call the team in.
Mostly because this will help me determine what all this guy can do. While also doing some damage. The real question is, is he going to do that wave of ice thing? Brickman, totally freaking useless. Can I call them in again? This isn't doesn't feel correct. Maybe it is. It's okay. I think... I think we're gonna just risk it and do some psyching up. Don't want to multi-heal yet. But I might just mid-heal myself. And then go, go for oomph. Forget psyching up. We're just going to take this bitch down. Because <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to spend four turns psyching up just to have him suddenly decide that ice waves are a nice thing to do. Because I can't remember if he can do that or not. Yeah. Increase that bad boy's defense. Ah, blazing fire. We should put on Insulato. Alright. Bust out the Omni Heal for that one. Home Splitter again. You know what? We're gonna go for Cherub Zero. Restore some of our magic. Not a lot, but it's some. Um, Dang it! I knew that would happen! <laughs> I knew that would happen! Kind of looks like a dragon. Let's see how Dragon Slash does. Um. No, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll risk it. Who needs more of an oomph? Yeah, at least I didn't waste those turns psyching up, because I, I just couldn't remember if he could wave of ice, and I just felt like he could. We just don't need that in our lives. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, that could have hurt a lot worse than it did. All right, that's as low as his defense can go. Angelo's going to have to take up healing duties again. Going to Parallax. Multi-heal.
that's pretty good. Let's see if Flame Slash does anything better. Still multi healing. Casting upon herself. Okay then. We've been hitting this guy for like 300 points of damage for like eight turns now. <laughs> and it's still like, he's still kicking. He's totally fine. Okay, maybe it's only been four or five turns. Yeah, it might have only been four or five turns. There he goes! We got him! Oof. There's the level I needed! <laughs> but it's okay, we didn't actually need it. Because we did the thing, y'all, we did it! Alright, that's as high as that goes. So, back to swords. Yeah. So many skill points. And really nothing great to put them in anymore. Kaswoosh. What was I putting him in? Staves. That's right. We were doing staves. We done it, Gav. We finally given that Dolmagus what he had coming. He had us going all round the houses, eh? I bet the old codger and the old princess are back to normal now. They'll be having a right old time. Now Abbot Francisco can rest in peace, and I'm free to do as I please. How about you, Jessica? Feeling better now Dolmagus has got his comeuppance? Hmm? What's wrong? You can tell me I'm a good listener. Defeating Dolmagus isn't going to bring Alistair back. It's hard to know what to feel. Yoo-hoo! Ah, Grandad! Finally transmogged back to a human, eh? Hang on, Grandad. You still look like a freak. Okay, rude. I am not your granddad. And if you must make fun of someone, perhaps you should look in a mirror. He wasn't making fun of you. We've just defeated Dolmagus. 
you and the princess should be back to normal. You defeated Dual Magus? But this can't be! Why on earth hasn't the curse been lifted? Oh no, no, no! Why? Why isn't it wearing off? Ever since he stole the treasured scepter from my castle! Aha! Uh -huh. Yes! What about the scepter? What's happened to it? You mean this? Yes! That's it! My family's treasured scepter! Oi, Grandad. Adam, we better be getting out of here soon. Hmm. I suppose you're right. We won't accomplish anything twiddling our thumbs here. Let's go back to Argonia for a while. Well done, everyone. I'm at a loss as to how we will proceed from here, but for tonight, we must rest. Oh no, this is not the first time I've played this game. <laughs> this is a game I've probably played more than any other game I've ever played. This is probably my 10th or 11th playthrough. <laughs> I will spend the night in the wagon. I don't want the princess to be lonely. Sleep well. But it is the first time for some of the people watching, so we're trying Gav, to avoid Gav, spoilers. This ain't good, Gav. It's Jessica. She ain't nowhere around. When I woke up, the bed was empty and all the stuff had gone. Jessica's gone. That can't be good. Where'd she go? Eh? What was that? You lost one of your friends? Are you talking about the girl with the big bosom? She's already left. I spotted her about to leave the inn before the sun had even come up, so I asked her where she was going. And she said she was going north. I'm fairly certain there's a checkpoint up there. Okay, don't know why she would go north, but all right. You know anything about it? If you go northeast out of Argonia, you come to a bridge by a waterfall. There's a stunning view to be had there. If you cross the bridge and keep going north, you come to a checkpoint. Nothing particularly special about that, though. Alright. So, we've defeated Dolmagus. It did not lift the curse. Jessica is missing! And that's where we're gonna pick up tomorrow. <laughs> not tomorrow. Wednesday. Uh, possibly Tuesday? I forget what I had it scheduled for now. But uh, we are going to wrap up today's stream here. Um, and then when 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 we pick up again, which I, I think it is I think it is Tuesday, now that I'm saying it out loud. Um, should be Tuesday. Of course it's empty in here. I guess, why would it not be empty in here? We're going to go ahead and save the game here.
All right. So that is where we are going to finish for today. Um, thank you so much for joining us on this lovely journey. Um, and apparently the plot thickens because we defeated Dual Magus, but the curse hasn't been lifted. So this is where we're going to pick up on Tuesday. Um, and if for any reason you are unable to catch my streams, I do upload them to YouTube the following day. So if for whatever reason you can't see it Tuesday, but you still want to follow the story and still want to see what's going on, you can always pop over to YouTube and watch it there if for whatever reason it's not available on Twitch. Um, so thank you all so much, and I hope you come and join the stream again. Have a lovely Saturday night.